here. Look, we have enough. Uh, we have enough partial team. characters to where Pistachio probably won't be be getting targeted that much if we can stop it. You never know. Yeah, it's true. Are we? Are we? We are. We Hello, are. Chad. Hi. We are. Hello, Hi. everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, I just realized something. I need to bring that down. Just this yeah, that's what you're talking about. I watched a three-hour video essay on Disney's Lab Rats last night. I saw that video <laughs> essay and I almost clicked on it. It, it was interesting. Wait, it was on I don't one? know why. I watched I've it. already watched the five-hour Victorious video yeah. essay and oh, both yeah, of the, and both of, and both of the three-hour iCarly essays all by the same person. Like, Wordy, oh, I, my I need God. to stop. Wordy. Hey, Cordy. So, six hours of iCarly. That. Yeah. That Five hours of Victorious, and that I was did... only the first part of the Victorious I... thing. And the that even iCarly. I just stayed around for the Lab Rats one because he watched all the Lab Rats, and there's my dogs. One sec. I remember Lab Rats. That was. Fuck. I don't think I watched it maybe once or twice. I don't think I ever watched it. That was the show much. where there was, like, like the Lab main rats. character didn't have powers, yeah. but, like, their parents made, like, these super-powered teenagers in the basement. And they, like, tried to, you know, navigate, like, school and shit when, like, they have, like, they'd, like, call on their siblings and be like, I need your super speed. I need, I need it. Wasn't that or whatever. Like a Disney XD show? Yeah, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, okay, I remember. The bionic teenagers. I'm gonna be honest, Yonder, that show... Uh, the what? <laughs> that show what? kind of fused in my mind with the one that I didn't yeah, watch, which was, like, the Thundermans or whatever. Uh, yeah! Where it was, like, the, the same premise I think that was about Nick. super-powered teenagers going to school. Or was it? Yeah, a different rat? channel. Don't lab remember. Rat! Yeah, they're talking about Lab Rats. It, they're the same show. It's just on different channels. Yeah. Probably. Speaking or of video essays, have, and sky have any of you seen the? Sorry. Have any of you seen the one? It's it's not like a five hour essay like those. It's only thirty minutes, but it is honestly one of my favorite like video essays ever. It's why Shrek Two is the perfect sequel. And it, it's right. Was, and it's right. Yeah, it is it, correct. You don't even need to it's watch right it. It's true. It's correct, it, but I need to watch it as well. Like the animation, like, 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 like yes, that's exactly. Wow, yes, like it perfectly encapsulates the thoughts of the whole movie. It's great. Trick 2, great movie. One of the best early 2000s soundtracks of, uh, for an animated movie. Alright, I don't just watch a CD. video essays unless they're several hours in length, so... I don't know. You can't not watch oh, well, Trick. If, if you watch it three That's times, true. then it's several hours in length. Yeah, but I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't watch it three times. I mean, Mako, I can see you the video essay I watched on Sword and Shield. Oh, yeah. That was please that do. was three three hours and fifty minutes. Please do. I would love to see it. I will. It was pretty good. I didn't. I didn't watch. I didn't. No, I did watch some. I watched Victorious when I was a child, but not that much of it. I watched iCarly. I, I watched know, iCarly. Where's the I House of wait. Anubis video essay? Come on, man. That show was a classic. Oh, there's the one there's... I watched on um, Shining Pearl and Diamond. Brilliant Diamond. Yeah, that one. Brilliant I... and Shining. The, the games that nobody played, and why would you? Just the wrong time. Everyone, everyone played it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. No, I remember. I realized I, I, I didn't the finish. Diamond and Pearl. I never actually finished that video essay. I had like 20 minutes left in it. I need to watch the one that's the, like, it keeps getting recommended it to me, and it's like an hour long, and it's the appropriately unhinged recap of Pretty Little Liars. I've never oh, seen Pretty Little Liars. I had a um, friend but, you know, who watched it. Um, was, he I was like the energy. The... <laughs> Did anyone ever actually watch Degrassi or whatever it was called? No. Nope. What? Nah. No. There you no. go. Did you guys ever watch Did you guys... ads for it, and I'm like, I don't even know what that is. Do you ever watch H2O? What? Just Add Water? I know it. Yeah. Mermaid. No, uh, I can't say that I watched it. Yeah, Mermaids. I had water. I wasn't allowed to watch any of these shows. You know, sure, I used to really? watch it only for the theme song, <laughs> yeah. and I turned it off after. This is Zoe 101. 
Well, that theme well, song well. is a banger. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to watch. You should expect. Oh yeah, boys don't watch these kind of shows. And then by the oh. time I, I'm, I'm older now, I'm like, I don't really want to watch these shows. Go like, watch saving... Carly, trust me. Yeah, you. Um, you... Yeah, no, it's just like. You're missing I, out I, if you haven't watched that Carly. That Carly was pretty good. I can't really. I can't really. I don't know. See, I, I'm more of a like I've been watching medical drama since I was 12, and that's what I like. <laughs> like you're not allowed Alan. to watch these, but here's a medical drama. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So I, I actually started. I, I started watching those without my parents' knowledge, and then like by the time I admitted to uh, them, I was old enough that they didn't care. Nice. I um. I watched a lot of History Channel as a kid, uh, and <laughs> I, re I remember, like, after, like, after all your mainline programming went off, like, it, it ended up, stuff, yeah, you got yeah. the weird stuff, like, Ancient Aliens and, like, all of the, <laughs> all of the, like, conspiracy theory shows. <laughs> I hate those ones. So. Oh, it just came to it. I never watched with those. I never watched those. Like, as soon as they turned on, I would just be like, yeah, no, sorry. That's my TV for the day. So I just came to a realization, and it said the Foundry update uh, <laughs> added something extra to the toolbar. So now the overplay needs to be updated for next time. Ah, I see. Oops. Oh, yeah, because it pushes it up a little further. Oh. Yeah, the, the bar is wider. Quiz? Oh, Absolutely. I love Blues, Blues Clues. Blues Clues is my shit. Blues Clues is uh, I, I had, yeah, I had like, tapes of it on, on VCR. Yeah, like, also, I had also uh, uh, tapes of Curious George, like the original Curious George. Curious George I I love is the best. Caillou. Based. Caillou. Oh, yeah. Caillou, Caillou, is Caillou, shit. Caillou is terrible. <laughs> and Caillou, Caillou is, is how not, you, not for your children to act. Did anybody like Caillou? I don't think I, I've never heard anyone be like, no. yeah, I remember Caillou. I loved Caillou. No, nobody did. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I think what else I watched as a child. Like Martha Speaks, is... Arthur. Oh, yeah. There are a bunch Martha of shows yes. that I don't yeah. remember Girl. much about, but. Uh, I got Max and Ruby, Ruby, anyone? Max and Ruby. Yeah. Yes, Max and Ruby. sir. Martha Speaks. Now I have Martha Speaks theme song in my head. That's a jam. Ruby and her little so brother Max. Max. So bridging away from like shows, did any of you watch Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Like I, I did. Oh, yes. yeah. oh yeah, Fever Dream. Fever Dream. We watched it. We watched it actually like recently. Like I think maybe two years ago. We watched it. We sat down and watched it again. <laughs> nice. Mr. Electra Dad, send him to the principal's office and have him expelled. Oh. The dream. He wrote my dream. He read my dream journal. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> He does like, still uh, go back and I'll watch Spy Kids. Well, technically, yeah. there is a second one, but it doesn't even have them in it. Spy Kids yeah, and Shark Boy and Lava Girl fuse together yeah, for me like for some second. reason. Yeah, they do for me yeah, too. Yeah, they do. I think it's like the, the same. same. I think it's the same studio. Help us save us. He's a madman. Help us save us. Mm -hmm. Remember that from like the second yes. one? Yes. yes. <laughs> that was intense. Remember the oh, thumbs? Wait, yes, yeah, I do remember the thumb people. No, they're called Thumpkins. Y'all are fake fans. Thumpkins. Thumpkins. Sorry, I don't oh have an God. encyclopedic in knowledge <laughs> of spy kids. This is it. Oh, it's I... called We Can Be Heroes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they are in it, though. Mama, girl. Yeah, they're in it for, like, one scene. Yeah, the beginning. Um, oh, Those movies were so, wild. Another thing I used to grow up on was, like, all the unpopular DreamWorks movies, like El Road to El Dorado. Oh, um, I love me some Road to El Dorado. Uh, what else? I've got I've got a whole playlist that I listen to while I'm drawing, and uh, it's tough to be a god is in there. I it's, love just, that it's just oh that god. one scene. Hang on, let me see if I can. Find we all know the best DreamWorks movie, Shark Tale. I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am kidding. No, nobody <laughs> like Shark it's Tale. It's actually Prince of Egypt. Oh, Prince of Egypt. Oh, yeah, I watched Prince I of Egypt. I haven't seen Prince of Egypt in so long. Oh, no, it's... It is what's it called. Prince of Egypt. Oh, wait, am I thinking of the right... Yeah, Prince of Egypt. The the score is, like... Yeah, it's going to get scored. I, it, it I like, still listen to that to this day. Yeah, same. Like, at this point. Like, it, all like, three oh, of my yeah, siblings, we have a shared some, music. Uh, let's see. I'll just pull some... Through I will not let your... 
Yeah. I love that scene. George. <laughs> and now we're getting copyright striked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instantly copyright struck. There is no copy and there is no rhyme. Oh, man. Also, chat, I hope you're doing well. Yeah. Yes. No. Also, are rambling. Are doing oh, well yeah, y'all are here. Well, oh, yeah, you're here. You're here. <laughs> uh, you're here. Chat, tell us your favorite Bill Nye the Science Guy episode. I don't. Look, I you love Bill Nye the Science Guy, but I don't remember any specific episode. Yeah. It's just like things like, happening and like sound effects I going on. I was evangelical, so I wasn't allowed to wow, believe like the, anything the Bill Nye said. The narrator of Bill Nye. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the, the narrator was great. I watched the Magic like, School. I was just about to talk about the Magic School bus. The Magic School bus, yes. Now the Magic School bus. Oh man! Then they now we did quadruple well copyright struck. <laughs> We're just ending oh. the stream before it begins. I, I love Magic School bus so much. I would literally strangle Ralphie and Arnold with my two hands any day. <laughs> what did yeah. Arnold ever do to you? He's just this poor kid that doesn't want to go he's on just his a, wacky he's adventures. Annoying. No, he's a he's a whiny bitch. Just like come on, just suck it up and go on his like your teacher is Miss Frizzle and you're complaining. No. You no. know what? Okay, Damn. that's fine. But what's her name? Is it Phoebe or Dor Dorothy? Dor Which one the one that's like at my old school? Shut the fuck I, I up. No one cares about what happened at your old school. <laughs> God. Who? In or Dorothy and Ann. No. According to my research. Oh, Dorothy Ann. <laughs> Just being oh, named Jonathan. Dorothy Ann. Oh, I forgot about it, that. The, according to my research. Right. Oh, Carlos. In, in the recent in the recent reboot, they um Phoebe already moved back to her old school, so she's not Good there anymore. Bye. <laughs> uh, they took her out. Good. Good. Go away, Phoebe. No one he wants you here. Man. Oh, and what's it called? In the beginning of the reboot, I was like, oh great, it's gonna be Miss Frizzle again. And voice well, by Lily Tomlin. She's replaced by Miss Frizzle's younger sister, and like actually, like the re the normal Miss Frizzle makes an appearance in the first episode, saying like, "Oh yeah, I'm retired. I'm having fun doing stuff. Have fun with the kids." Like, it, it was interesting. Like, no, like, no the way. Frizz. Sorry, Miss Frizzle, you're not old enough to retire. You gotta come no, back. She's an you're, ageless you're, being. She <laughs> is on. Economy. She yeah, is economy. on a like an elementary school teacher's salary. There's no fucking way she's able <laughs> to retire. You retired to... in this economy, and oh, she, she gives away like... her bus to her younger sister. That's like the only asset she has, man. No, here's here's what she did. She went used bus's abilities to go and like steal all of its national treasures. Mm. Grave robbing. And then, and then, yeah, grave robbing and all that. That's why she had to. That's why she had to quit teaching. Oh, oh, yeah, the law is on. She's on the run. Conspiracy theory. <laughs> oh my god! International artifact. International artifact stealing on the magic school bus. <laughs> that would have been a good episode. <laughs> Remember in like the first one where Arnold just fucking died when he took off his helmet. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, that shit, was right up. That. Just died. <laughs> Saw that clip. Oh, I would also <laughs> strangle Janet. Rip Janet. <laughs> I don't remember, I remember, which one remember that is. one episode where they're learning about like how you smell things, and she fucked up their like perfect smell, and they had to like shrink that down is. really small and like shoot all of the bad smells with a bus, so that Very the person who was smelling it only got the good Fuck. ones. <laughs> that was an episode. How does that work? I don't know. I don't think it does. <laughs> because what's it called? It's for, for smell how, how particles. Your yes, the, you're, you you smell things by literal bits of what you're smelling go to the smell receptors on your nose for that thing. So, like, that's why we know how water water has a smell. Our noses just can't comprehend it. Damn, my water nose is dumb. Smell? I'm kind of terrified to know what water smells Wait, like. Wait, y'all don't smell water? Nah, my nose is too dumb like, for that. Like, what, smell water? What we, what we smell in water isn't the actual water. It's, it's what's iron. in water, like the chemical. Yeah, that's, that's what water also water tastes smells like. like. Yeah, water but, like, like we'll never know what pure H2O smells like. It's water. Yeah, artificial noses. Water tastes like water. It does. Tastes the way it does. Dump a bottle of water in your nostrils. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> it smells water. like. <laughs> Snort it. You know, like this. You know, like the you know, like the squeezy ones drowning. where you like squeeze it and the water sprays out of like the thin nozzle. Just put two. Just put one of those in each nostril and squeeze. I mean, with with something <laughs> sharp in a go. normal water bottle, you can make it's any of those cold. into that. <laughs> That's true. I used to take a key and stab it into the top. I used to love to do pins. Like just yeah, I do it with mechanical it. pencils and stab the yeah, top. But... But you gotta make like a perfect seal, and that you, can you put an entire like normal water bottle cap into your nostril? I don't know if, if I can so, make a I seal. Commend you. Like I don't know if I can just make a seal just out of thin air, but I'll try. Oh, so I can't personally fit the fit the bottle cap in my nose, but I know somebody who can. Like he can fit like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh like hold on, hold on. my nostrils are wide enough for that. <laughs> hold on, look at this. Like he he can fit. His three, like, wonder... the tips of his three fingers, he can fit one, two, three in, in one nostril. That's like, so oh, fucked it's... up. How? Oh, yeah. No. How big is his nose? His <laughs> nose really isn't that big, but when he, like, he just have wide nostrils? Uh, he he can got a smell snake like nostril three miles away. <laughs> he can't unhinge. Oh well, God. well, uh... <laughs> No, we're wait. already, like, 45 minutes over start time. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah, we are on a schedule. Okay. Oh, man. All right. Well, ready to stop the same time, Azzy. What'd you say? Wait, what'd you say, Port? Oh, could have stopped this any time, Azzy. I know. You have the power. But I was also in the conversation. The I was also power within? in the... Power within. Power within. Power within. Power within. Yeah. Okay, we should stop before we get by. <laughs> we get <laughs> muted. Bye. <laughs> Bye, muted. Ah! I'm speaking of muted, I hope I unmuted us. I did unmute us. Okay. Why do I? That would be very just, unfortunate. It's just a fear of mine now. It's it's like wow. I really hope oh, we're God. unmuted. Yeah, because now we can't see our little. Uh... Well, things. even if also, we could, it, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> They'd still be moving despite us being muted. <laughs> that is true. Um, yeah, because it's reading off of Discord and not... Yeah, not off yeah. of OBS. Um, well, uh, I I believe I'm ready if all of you are. Yes. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready, I'm ready. No, you ain't. Oh, fuck. All right, I'll leave the call. Don't tell me what I'm not. But I think for pistachio's voice, I'm gonna like over pronounce all my O's. Like, hello. And dog is also sweet. ready. I'm, I'm going to figure I, it out in like the next couple minutes when I start speaking, and you have we'll just go whatever that is. Yeah, chat, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you how his voice will be, whatever it ends up being, because I, I yes, tried. <laughs> look, I am not doing the S's thing, I'm all right? Like he, one, I can't keep up with that. Two, it would be <laughs> annoying. That's um, Emmy does too. Hmm? Have a voice that is ready. Oh yeah, I practice it in my car. I probably look like a crazy person. That's the only time I ever practice my like you voices. You don't just talk to yourself going down the road. Well, I, I have do. a forty-five right. minute drive there and back, so I have to do something. That's that's fair. <laughs> There's only so many podcasts I can have on my phone at one yeah. given time. I have a fifteen-minute ride to work, and I talk to myself. <laughs> oh yeah, I talk to myself in my house. I do too. Oh, my mother's always like, I don't talk to myself. Talking to? And I'm I like, just drown it all out know. music constantly. I don't talk to myself, <laughs> I make conversations. I'm like, you know that I'm talking to myself, mother. You You've lived with me for 19 you. years. Yeah, I talk to myself a lot. But that's how that's how I've, I've been able to improve at, at voice stuff, so it helps. Mm -hmm. It definitely Yeah, helps. it really does. Uh, uh, tip for all you aspiring voice, voice actors out there. Talk to yourself. Who... Talk to yourself. <laughs> I can do a lot of voices. Just none of them are suitable for characters, and they're all awful. You see, mo most of my voices just consist of me angrily griping at my bosses while by myself. <laughs> so. Oh. One day, I'll pull out. No, I will never do. I will never do the voice I was about to do. One day, I'll pull out the Squidward. Yes, <laughs> please. One day, I'll do Peter Griffin. Just kidding. I would rather die. Detour. 
Now that that wouldn't be annoying. I lied. <laughs> the bit wouldn't get old in five seconds. <laughs> It'd be six. Um, yes, I think we're good, Azzy. Alrighty. So, uh, we we start tonight. Uh, for those of you, uh, for those of you not native to Icewind Dale, we start in. Well, actually, for everyone, really. But we we start in Bryn Chander. Uh, it is. This is one of the biggest settlements in Icewind Dale. It is. Uh, when you come to Icewind Dale, if you aren't going to East Haven, you're going here. Uh, it's about 1,200 people. Uh, it is, which that may not seem big for a town down south, but up here that's quite large. Um, uh, this town is uh, very well lit. Uh, there are um, <clears throat> there are a whole lot of um, the houses up here. They're all very reinforced, and they're very uh, they're over insulated because the cold is absolutely terrible. Um, you you can you can freeze if you're outside for too long. Um, most of the people that you would have seen on your way here. Uh, they are, they're bundled up in so many furs and coats and protective gear that, uh, it's, it's very hard to recognize people when they're outside because everyone just looks like a bundle of coats. Um, so, uh, we start at a, um, at a small, uh, house that is, it's a two-story house and it is sandwiched between... Uh, two others, and it's got like a storefront window on the bottom, uh, and a sign above it uh, that says Trollbane Detectives. Uh, so, who who will be who 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 do we think would arrive first? Uh, you were you were summoned here and told that uh, when you got here, to come in that uh, Miss Trollbane will be waiting on waiting on you uh, on the bottom floor. I think how we got lost, so someone else. <laughs> All right. He's a good traveler. Would you like to describe Monty to us? All right. Uh, Monty is well starters a uh, a big boy. He's he's a seven foot seven. He's about eight hundred eighty five pounds. A giant mammoth in a big old coat. A nice large sword on his back, some glasses on his face, uh, a few few little medicine supplies on his belt, and he's just, he just walks through this door, he's making very soft footsteps and just looking around. Alright, so you, uh, <clears throat> you get into this place, um, you just barely fit in here, um, because... Uh, one thing that you grew anyway. Yeah, one thing that you quickly find out: this place was built for a dwarf. Um, hey. So, like, most of the furniture is normal sized. However, like the furniture that's specifically meant for Miss Trollbane is dwarf sized. Um, and there, so downstairs, you're you are like you're in a little hallway that's on the side of the building. Uh, and you, uh, the first room to your left is like a parlor, uh, and sitting in there is this elderly, uh, it is a elderly, uh, dwarven woman. She has, uh, <clears throat> she has hair that's almost the, the color of the snow outside, uh, and she is, she is sitting, um, She's sitting in like a rocking chair and she's like knitting something together. Uh, and she's sitting kind of close to the fireplace uh, and she turns to look at you. Oh, well, um, are you Monty? Uh, yeah. I'm... Oh, doc uh, you're, you're Dr. Monty, right? Yeah, uh, doc Dr. Uh, Montgomery Eld. Oh, I... well, it's good to finally meet you. I've, I've heard a lot about you. Um, come, uh, come on in. Come on in. Okay. <clears throat> he, he just starts heading in. Well, uh, um, what is, what are the seats here? Um, so is the seats in here, 
Uh, yeah, so there are... There's, like, a couch, uh, and then there's a bunch of, like, really overly stuffed armchairs that are all kind of arranged around the fireplace. I'm gonna take to the couch. Alright, I would imagine Monty probably takes up most of the couch. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I, um... I hope your, uh... I hope your travel from the from the care wasn't too uh, wasn't too uh, too rough. No, uh, it was it's fine. Not as well, treacherous as uh, one could imagine. Nothing bad. Well, that's wonderful. Give me just a second. I've got to close this door. No, open it more. <laughs> Eliminate the door. Remove. Get rid Rope of it. it out of tinges. <laughs> Not important anymore. Get rid of the door and put a curtain in. That's a perfectly good substitute for a door. Mm -hmm. Sure. A worm on the string curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed to lock my door. My mother's always like, what if there's a fire? And I'm like, well, just pound on the door and wake me up. Damn. <laughs> I'm not that deep of a sleeper. Never mind, I actually have slept through several fire alarms. See, unlike my last room, uh, this door doesn't even- my, my bedroom door doesn't even have a lock. So I can lock it if I wanted to. I have a lock on my door, but just let me burn. Fair. Alright, I'm sorry, I had to fix that real quick. I'm back. Um So, uh who who arrives next? Ow, fuck. Mm. Uh, I f I don't know. It is it is cold out. Um reptile, you know. So I don't know. Um might be a bit a little slow. I'll go after the next person. I'll go, right. after, I'll go after Mako. Uh, I'll say Quinn's pretty punctual. All right. Yeah. All right. So uh, you come down the streets of Bryn Shander, uh, and you also find uh, the Trollbane detectives. Uh, and inside the front window, uh, you see facing away from you is... Um, a very large uh, mammoth uh, talking to a little bitty uh, dwarven woman. They're like, it, they're inside. I'll just go knock on the door. Alright. Uh, would you like to, just, would you like to describe Quinn? Yeah, Quinn is a herringon, so rabbit folk. He's a very bright white color um, with like grayish eyes he definitely has some like dirt matted in his fur though like he tries to keep himself well kept in the way he's dressed but just doesn't quite get it right um the big black coat on and a bright red scarf that's always around his neck about 4 or 11 ish yeah that's it fluffy rabbit boy Right, uh, so you knock on the door, uh, and after a minute, you hear some footsteps on the other side, and the door opens, uh, and the dwarven uh, lady is standing there. Well, hello there. Can I help you? So I, it's Quinlan. I thought I was. Oh, Quinlan! Here. Yeah, come, come on in. Come on in. Thank you. Uh, would you like me to put your coat up for you? So then, so I will keep it on for now. Ah, all right. Well, come join us in the parlor. Um. So, uh, entering the parlor, uh, there are a few chairs that are not being taken up. There is a couch that is being mostly taken up by Monty. Uh, and there is a little dwarven-sized chair uh, that she goes and sits in. Uh, and she goes back to her, she goes back to her knitting for a second, and then she takes it and reaches beside the fireplace and pulls out a rifle that is taller than her and like she she's making a sheath for it but like crocheting it nice i love that pretty 
uh, and she just sees if it fits and then puts it back and keeps going. Gotten. Quinn will kind of look around and find a nice corner that he can stand in facing the door. All right. I thought you were going to say facing the wall and the timeout. <laughs> you just You're in timeout. Time out. That shit. The it's game just paranormal. started and you're already in timeout. Bad Quinn. Bad, Bad Quinn already. I kind of nods to Monty <laughs> as he just finds a nice standing spot. Monty also nods. Nodding. Uh, I, I don't know any names that start. Agreed. I don't know any names that start with N off the top of my head. Nodding, nodding Nancy. Nancy. Yeah. yeah nodding you guys Nancy. are you guys are <laughs> nodding Nancys, aren't you? Nodding Nathaniel. Ooh. Couple of uh, yeah, nodding Nathaniel, and Nancy Drews actually. That's what you are. Nodders. Yeah. New Twitch emote. <laughs> That it actually already exists. Oh, it does. Matters. That's okay. A rip. Okay. There goes my idea. <laughs> forever. It's gone, gone right. forever. Uh, yeah, uh, that's it. All right. So, uh, who's who's here next? Uh, I guess I guess Dayon shows up. All right. In the middle. You know. Would you like to uh, would you like to describe Dan to us? I sure would like to try doing that. I sure would. Um, I'll do I'll do my sister best. Okay. Um, so Dan is a Yanti abomination, uh, specifically a rhinoceros rat snake. He's got a little little horn coming off coming off of his nose because it's funny, and I like things that are funny. Um, is quite, quite large, quite large, around seven feet. Um, pretty built, too, because, uh, barbarian. Um, it's got a, we got a very thick coat, very thick coat on, obviously only the coat, because no legs, none here. You get none, um, that's all you deserve. Um, so yeah, leg. none. Um, okay. So Anyways, isn't a snake just one giant leg? Yeah. I I like to think of snakes as one big neck. Just a really long one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, one big they're, neck. They're closer to neck because they have the muscle structures. Yeah. yeah, but when does it transfer from neck to tail? That's the real question. I don't think it ever does. I think it's all just neck. It's all neck. Just a neck. Okay. I, 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 can, I can give you a real answer for this. I can give you a real answer for this. I would, I would. What's the, what's the, like, biological You're not answer? going to? No, I mean, I don't want to, like, y'all go out having fun with this. I don't feel like, ooh, biology. Blah, blah, blah. No, no, I want to know. I want to know. If, yeah, I actually want to know after, now. After the reproduction bits and, like, the excrement bits, like the poo poo place. Uh -huh, after the that. Poo. Okay, <laughs> right after that. I got, got my yeah. answer. Good. Okay. okay. <laughs> Well, there's our um, there's our snake biology lesson today. Although I guess yeah. he, since he has <laughs> like scientific poo poo place. Yeah, I guess since he has like arms and like a chest and a proper stomach, it would be right after that. Um, that would be so. I guess he's only a little bit neck actually, like normal length. That's kind of fucked up. Honestly, um, a little bit fucked up. Bit. Just a little bit, as a treat. Anyway. Um, yeah, he'll, he'll, uh, come in, uh, come over, come over to the place. He looks quite miserable out in the snow. Uh, cold-blooded life, you know, what can you do, uh, besides die about it? And, yeah, he'll knock very loudly on the door. Uh, is she, uh, uh Miss Trollbane will get up and waddle back over. Uh, and she'll open the door. Oh, um, fuck, I have to do a voice. <laughs> well, hello there. Um, you must be, um... You must be Dan? It's... Dayon, but close enough. Oh, well, I... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um... Uh, no, no, you're, you're fine. It's a... It's a... It's a... It's a weird name. Uh, you, you look cold. You, you, yeah? Come on in. 
I'll, I'll come in. Uh, a tail coming in about, like, two seconds later. Uh, would you like me to uh, take your coat for you? Uh, you know, I think I'm good. Uh, still quite cold in here, you know. Uh, can't generate body heat, but thank uh, you for the offer. Right. Well, um, you're, you're quite welcome. Um, you know, come with us in the parlor. Uh, I'll, I'll get you a seat by the fire. Oh, no, it's okay. Uh, I, seats are difficult. Um, you know. Ah, oh, right. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it, it's fine. Uh, not very common uh, to see. Yeah. What? Why am I getting a call on Discord from somebody that knows I'm streaming right now? Just beat him up. You know what you should do? Power move. Yeah. Just send them the link to our stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Literally streaming. Can't not answer your Discord phone call. Sorry. <clears throat> um, It's not Friday. I told you that it... I. <laughs> Anyway, really... okay, you know, so while while I while I respond to this, he goes and s exists near the fire. All right. Um, yeah. All right. So I believe after that we have Howie. All right. So Howie wanders up, having finally found this place, and he knocks lightly on the door. <laughs> I like to think there's a kid that's just like walking away after he's pointed you to where you're going. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> alright, yeah, so you, uh, you walk up, uh, and you see all of them sitting in a little parlor through the window. Um, uh, the door is also unlocked, if, unless you wish to knock. He, he lightly knocks and waits. Um, <laughs> she, instead of getting back up, come in! He I him standing up. cracks the door open ever so slightly, peeks in. Anyone sitting inside just sees an eye <laughs> looking around. Uh, um, is this the right place? Um, well, are you looking for a uh, Trollbane Detective Agency? Oh, yeah. Um, okay. And he will step in. And he'll shut the door. He looks around at everybody. Um, hi. Uh, oh, also, would you like to describe for us what how or what we we see for Howie? Yes, you see a six foot eight Leonin man. Uh, he's very big. He is dressed in this kind of a surcoat almost. Um, has a sun symbol on it, and he has a very nice purple cloak. Uh, he's a very big boy. He weighs about 340 pounds. And, uh, he looks very nervous. Um... You're, um... Uh, you're Howie, right? Yes. Uh, How uh, Howard Glass. Uh, I go by Howie, yes. Oh, well, um... Welcome. Uh, if you need, there's a coat rack right to your right. Oh, um... I probably shouldn't, uh, I don't have anything on under this. I see. Well, um, disregard that then. Um, it's really cold out there. That's probably why. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, can, can I sit? Yes, yes, of course. No. No setting. Um, no setting allowed. Oh, okay. No, look around. But but seats are still empty. Uh, there. So there are enough armchairs for everyone. Uh, that's gonna be here. Um, there's also like half of the couch that Monty is not on. How big are these armchairs? Um, they're normal person size, like medium creature sized. All right, he's gonna squeeze into <laughs> one. We got three really big characters, two much smaller characters, <clears throat> and then one normal. One sized normal character. sized. And normal. Well, actually, no. Uh, <laughs> no, we we got uh, three big, three small. Uh, Something else you'd notice, uh, despite how cold it is, he's very sweaty. 
Hi, like, sweaty. Like more so I'm than anyone, in, in, like more so than anyone should be out there in the cold. Um, you all right there, Mister Howard? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm all right. I'm. Just, oh, are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm just kind of cold. Mm, Could have you like me. closer to the fire? Um. Okay. Well, I'll uh, I'll I'll swap I'll swap positions with you. Uh, she gets up and grabs the uh, her seat and walks it over to where you're sitting. We'll go sit by the fire. Oh, that, that's nice. Oh, oh. He, he <laughs> realizes. Um, he never, never, what he's done. never mind. I, I don't want to sit by the fire. All right then. Uh, she trades places again. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> no, no, it's quite all right. Um, I believe we only got a few we're missing. Uh, they should be here soon. The sisters, too. <laughs> so, uh, who is our next to arrive? I think I'm the only one left, right? Uh, no, Damien's mm -hmm. after you. Or oh, uh, right, Damien's either before or after you. Quantum <clears throat> state of existing and not existing. Sure, I'll hold extra back on. Schrodinger's D and D character. Yeah. <laughs> um, Pistachio has no concept of like social etiquette when it comes to time because um he's a plant. So um, <laughs> so he's like, what a lovely day night cycle we're having. <laughs> um, he's gonna stroll as wait. What, this is on like a main road or like where, where is this? Uh, yeah, this is on like a little side road in town, but it's it's not far off Main Street. <clears throat> okay, uh, <laughs> so he Stash is gonna be walking around. At any person he sees, he's gonna go, "Hello, hello, oh hello, hello," and <laughs> just from from when he enters this uh, this place until he gets to the the yeah. The actual office. So, um, yeah, so he gets there. Um, is it like, I guess there's a knock. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, you hear a uh, dwarven woman's voice from inside. Come in. Oh, actually, this place is built for dwarves, so yeah, I can reach the door and I'll be able to do it. Yeah. Um, I will reach the door and I'll walk in. <laughs> for all of you looking, you see about a three and a half foot tall um, little bundle of kale that has that's wearing some like nice parka clothing like furs things like that um yeah that that's quite literally his oh he's something very noticeable is that his face is like very flushed not like in a I just ran a mile flushed but like a it's cold and, and my face is red um he's a large button nose <laughs> hello. Oh, I'm standing there. Hello. Oh, uh, pistachio. It's good to see you. Hello. Um. What's? Ooh, and then he notices that other people, and he's gonna go to each person, do a little bow in front of them. Hello, and just do that in the whole room. Oh, uh, hi. Greetings. Wow, you have a lot of energy, don't you? So. The, uh, the tail of the rabbit and the kale plant. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is not going to end well. No. <laughs> Lettuce. Lettuce. He sheds old kale, so it's, he sheds. It's okay. Um, Let us introduce ourselves. <laughs> oh, got him. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am Pistachio. Um, uh, hi. I'm, I'm Howie. Uh, um... Dr. Eld, or Monty, if you want. What's a doctor? Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> I heal the sick and injured. Oh, wow. <laughs> doesn't sound too excited about that. <laughs> no, you, Sesh is going to go up and like hold up, hold up his hand for a high five. Monty is just kind of confused and high fives. 
with his big hands. <laughs> Very nice job. Good job, E. Uh, thanks. And then, uh, yep, Sasha's gonna sit on the floor. All right. Naturally. All right. Well, so our. Uh... Oh, sorry. Good. Nothing. Oh, right. I I did mean to say something. You know what sucks? That Chinese place is fucking closed on Mondays. Oh, real. Yeah. No Chinese food for me. Ouch. Don't worry about it. No Chinese food. No oh, Chinese what? food. <laughs> Uh, if, if Howie, Howie's seeing Pistachio sitting on the floor, uh, looks over. Uh, um, do you want to s- sit somewhere uh, else? No. Oh, uh, okay. Adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Alright, so, uh, I believe now it is time for our, uh, our last character. Yes, uh, Snicker will roll up to the uh, detective agency um, entering quite a bit late uh, compared to everyone else um, and he'll knock on the on the door when he arrives uh, c- come in uh, and he'll I don't need to get an open sign he, he will enter and uh, he sort of looks around uh, seemingly a little confused, but nothing too major. Um, and he'll walk toward the parlor, uh, where he heard the voice from. Alright, uh, would you like to describe to us, uh, uh, wait, is, wait, is it Snicker or Sniker? I'm sorry. It's Snicker. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, yes, Snicker is a four foot two, uh, rock gnome with a, uh, nice chin strap grown out beard um long kind of long down to his shoulder hair that he eats pulled back um his ears are adorned with different bits of jewelry and uh ear piercings and such and um he's wearing very leafy green uh wooden clothing uh that he appears to have made himself. Uh, he has no shoes. Um, oh, that's gonna get cold fast. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he, um, he will, like, wipe the snow off of his feet in the doorway. And, uh, he looks into the parlor, uh, at everyone and goes, Oh. Give me a moment, man. Don't have Bart. <laughs> Sorry for being a little late. Well, it's 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 quite all right. We haven't got started just yet without you. Oh, okay. And then he will go into the parlor. All right. Uh. Well, I reckon now's a good time as any. Uh, you're all here. So, um... I, uh, I called all of you here. Uh, well, mostly because of, uh... Mm, actually, it's a better question. Um... How many of you have heard of the, um, the recent killings in Icewind Dale? The, uh... They were, uh... It was, a uh, It was by Sefik Caltro. He's a, uh... Serial killer from down south. Ooh, ooh, I have. Uh, fuck, help, uh, voice. <laughs> yes, I have. Have. And I have to say, I am so excited to be investigating it. Less some dedication? Um, eh, probably not for the reasons you think. <laughs> I see. Well, any reason's a good reason, I guess. So, um... I've uh, I've got you all here because I I've hit a bit of a dead end, really. Um, I know I know a good bit about him, and I know whereabouts he he goes. Um, probably is. Um, I'm a uh, 
I'm a bit up there in years. I can't exactly go chase him down myself. R right. So you you want us to go? Yes. Um. I uh, am prepared for all of you that if you can uh, get Mr. Caltro, uh and you can... I would prefer you bring him back to me alive. Um, but uh, if you can get him... If you can deal with Mr. Caltro, um, I'm willing to, to give you 100 gold. And if you can bring him back alive, I'll give you an extra 75. We'll see about bringing him back alive. I'll try my best, but no promises, you know? <laughs> That's a lot of gold, man. Well, he has killed a lot of people. Uh, um, uh, won't that be dangerous? There's a decent chance. Is it okay if his head's just a little bit caved in? Uh. As long as he's still breathing and he's able to answer questions whatever. good enough for me G can we not do that but why we're hired to aren't we he's done a lot of damage we need to bring him to justice he right exactly to... that's what i'm saying we agree but, but isn't that justice <laughs> not execution isn't that eh. crude potato potato this does, does take many potatoes. <laughs> hey, what can I do to help, though? Well, uh, you, little pistachio, I, uh, I got you because, well, uh, I've been told about you. You know the area, correct? And Dr. Monty, you, you're from here. You two know the area pr quite well. Uh, indeed. Okay, then, uh, yeah. So, um, I've got a little bit of information that may be, um, pertinent for you. Um, so, uh, last time I, uh, heard anything about Caltro, uh, he, uh, he had killed a man out in Bremen, uh, little, uh, little town out by the lake, uh, he uh, killed him with a knife made out of ice. Oh, that, that sounds scary. Fascinating. Who who was this man? He was a uh, he was a he was a local businessman. He was a he was a fisherman. He uh, he owns a few boats out in Bremen. Uh, he uh, let's see, uh, his name is. Uh, well, darn. Joe ah, there we go. Biden. Uh, Duskrow. His name's Duskrow. He's a, uh, he's a wood elf. Uh, if you, it was only a few days ago, uh, so if you catch him quick, then, uh, they might, they might not have buried him yet, and you could, I don't know, see about the body or something. <gasps> oh, I would love that. But, um, <laughs> alright then. Um, Anyway, uh, I'm not entirely sure, though, that um, Mr. Caltro didn't uh, have more motivation from that one. But um, he seems to only be killing the people that evade the sacrifices. Hmm. Wait, but ain't that what would she say? The sacrifices. Ooh, oh, okay. So what? So are these sacrifices exactly? Mm. Ah, I forget some of you are new to the area. So, um, you ever heard of the Everlasting Rhyme? Absolutely not. I can't say I have. Uh, I know for sure Monty would have heard of it. Um, yeah. Uh, Pistachio, may maybe? Um, well, uh, Icewind Dale has been, uh, stuck in a bit of, um, Eternal Winter for about two years now. Um, you ever heard of the goddess Aurel? Or, uh, Aurel? Um, no. Ah, well. I have. Uh, well, 
Uh, she's known as the Frost Maiden. She's uh, responsible for winter and, uh, you know, winds and things. Well, uh, she's been, uh, well, to be honest with you, no one really knows why it's happening, but uh, she's uh, she's punishing us, uh, I guess. But uh, each of the towns, they do, uh, they do little sacrifices trying to appease her, maybe lift this winter faster. But uh... So it's always cold and snowing here, like all the time? Uh, for the past two years, yeah. Great, great. Um, my some towns. Oh, good. My town sacrifices food every few. Uh, it's on every full moon. moon. Every full moon. So yeah. Yeah. Some some places do different sacrifices. Like uh, how is that pronounced? K K R. Uh, Kaer Dynaval. 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 Um. Most of the smaller towns, they can't really afford, uh, can't really afford to do human sacrifices like, uh, like Bryn Shander or, uh, Br um, Targos or, uh, East Haven. But, uh, they, some of them, they sacrifice warmth, uh, some of them sacrifice food, uh, just whatever they can. And none of that's worked so far? <sighs> it depends on who you're talking to. Um... <laughs> Me personally, I Wait. don't think it's worked, but... Well, gotta say, get a different strategy. Y human sacrifices? Ah, yes, some of the bigger towns do that. Wouldn't that uh, mean those that people die? In those towns. Yes. Oh, um, it's fair. it's done diplomatically by a, by a lottery. Um, but um, Mr. Caltro seems to have lately only been killing the... Uh, the people who break the sacrifice traditions. So, uh, people who maybe paid off their positions so that they don't have to get sacrificed, or maybe they broke the... maybe they broke one of the sacrifice rules. Lately, he's only seemed to go after them. Uh, mm. That's fun. Sounds yeah. like a fun guy. <laughs> but, um, I do got a lead on where he might be. Um, he, uh... I've done a bit of um, digging. Uh, there's a there's a small company. They run a they run a cargo business uh, called Torgs. Uh, they uh, they run like they run some dog sleds that go around the the countryside. They'll go to all of the different towns every now and then and sell things. Uh, everywhere that Torgs has been going, the killings have been going. Last place that I've. Uh, Last place I heard was a couple days ago at Bremen, and then uh, Mr. Duskrill ended up uh, without his life. Are they still there now? Or are they moving? Or are Not they... sure. Uh, word doesn't exactly travel very fast in Icewind Dale. Right. Why don't you just move? This place sucks. <laughs> Wish I could. Believe me, I wish I could, but uh, many people are stuck here. Uh, mm -hmm. They don't have uh, don't have the means, or if they did, they don't have anywhere to go. So, uh, where should we start? Well, I'd recommend starting in Bremen, and. Um, I'm not entirely convinced that uh, Mr. Duskrill may have evaded the uh, the sacrifices. He, um, from what I've been digging, he and a uh, another local fisherman, uh, fisherman, uh, Grinsk Barrowborn, he was. Uh, they had a bit of a feud. I think maybe they might have had something to do with it. I don't know. I'd suggest looking into him as well. Uh, see if you can find Torgs, though. I think if you can find Torgs, you can find Sefik. Perhaps the uh, killer is being influenced with payment by this rivalry. Something to look into, I guess. Mm. Ow. <sighs> There's a lot of angles to play here, I'll tell you that much. I know it's I'm safe because I am not a human. 
<laughs> yeah, well, guess that is true. I th think it could just be people. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say human? I meant, uh, I meant humanoid. Mm. Well, oh, I guess I'm well. safe. See, if I, if I crouch down really low like this, I just look like a shrub. And he's going to crouch down really low like this and look like a shrub. Good tactic. <laughs> a pretty good one. That works. Um, well, I guess this should be going. Yeah. Yes. Well, um, if you have I'll any more questions out. for me, uh, here you go. And she hands you all um, a sending stone with a little... Um, uh, it's got a little H, uh, HT carved on it. Here you go. A trek out in the snow should be lovely. Mm, yeah. Um, that, should get a, that should get a hold of me. Uh, if you need me or have any questions. Who would she give it to? Of us. Uh, she just kind of held it out <laughs> for anyone who, who wants it. Uh, Monty will take it. Alright, I will add a sending stone to your inventory. And how, we, HT. how we would take it, but he looks at his palms and yeah, it's how got much he's sweating. On it. Let's see, goes to Monty. Um, Monty officially possesses the brain cell. True. The one brain cell. <laughs> you know, I know... I know... Snakes can't slither on glass, but can they do it on ice? <laughs> if, not, if not, then that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> I don't know, I'll look that up, actually. I know they can do it on snow, because it's bumpy, but ice is slick, so... I, I looked it up. I can't. I can't get a good, uh, get a good thing. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, here's a video. <laughs> it's just a snake locomotion. Snake locomotion. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like maybe. But I'll, also, I'll say probably. Sure. I'll say yeah. Until we find out. conclusive evidence otherwise. Yeah. If not, we can get you a sled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. You can get dog sleds, um, and there's also <laughs> big so <laughs> Monty and Pistachio would both know um, there are so people get around Icewind Dale a lot on uh, either dog sled or um, these creatures called axe breakers, uh, and they look like axe breakers look like giant dodo birds that you can ride. What? <gasps> of course they do. This might be the best thing ever. <laughs> Yeah, like, you can't really use normal horses in the Dale. Yeah, it makes sense. So. Giant Here, I'll send a picture of them. I love it. I need to see... Ooh, that's a fun God. guy. I like the... Wow. The, the axe beak. It's cool. Yeah. It is a fun guy. Yeah. They're interesting. All right. Well, if you have any questions for me, um, just give me a give me a dial. I'll be I'll be uh, I'll be here, I guess. Ooh, hold on, stream it might be dying. Uh oh. <laughs> I see that. Because you are dying. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, cutting out like... and whatnot. If. I will, I will, while, while we're dealing with this, I will literally be two seconds to go uh, downstairs real quick. Uh, I am going to restart our router, I guess. If you could even agree. We are live? Uh, hello. We're live. All oh, right, we're back. Sorry, chat. I had a Wi-Fi moment. No. Yeah. A very we long Wi-Fi moment. A big Wi-Fi moment, if you will. Hello. But we're back. 
Okay. The daily Wi-Fi moment. Indeed. Yeah, unfortunately. So, uh, let's see, where were we? Oh, we're you guys were, I think... Leaving. Yeah, you guys were just leaving. We were just leaving. Uh, I wonder if anyone's replied. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, Miss Trollbane will uh, she'll stand up, uh, and she will uh, she will see you all to the door. Uh, now, if I, any of you need me, uh, remember I'm I'm just a call away. Um. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. See you later. Bye. Uh, and she she waves you all off uh, and closes the door. Um, you, you guys know the area better, right? Indeed. Yes, please do tell. Uh, wait, where are we going? Well. Again? I don't uh, know how I got it. <laughs> I, I forgot. What was the name of the town? Uh, uh, to Rimmon. Rimmon. Okay. Uh, so, Monty and Pistachio would both know uh, from where you are in Bryn Shander, Bremen is about a four hour walk. Oh, a four hour uh, walk. Okay. Yeah, so it is. Um, it's a four-hour walk, uh, so it's two hours from uh, Bryn Shander to Targos, which is uh, one of the other larger cities, and then from Targos, it's two hours to Bremen. Uh, and you are, when you go to Bremen, you are going um, towards a, a giant lake, uh, which, if I can find the name of said lake, there's a lot of Irish pronunciations in here, so... I'm sorry for all of our Irish listeners. Um, uh, Mayor, let's see, Mayor Duldon uh, is the lake that you're going to, and it is like right on the, uh, it's right on the shore. Hmm. So, uh, Bremen isn't that long a walk. Uh, it is directly north, by the way. We're going north. Want to do it? Do want a dog? Sled. I mean, it might cost a bit, but um, or, or an axe breaker. Uh, I, I could pay for it. If if it's money, that's a, the, the problem. Uh, how big are? Hey, Mako. Hello, Mako. Mako, buddy. The demon oh, got no. you. I've passed Wi-Fi on, I've moment passed too. The 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 infection. Oh, is my wife? Am I done having a wife? Yes. No. What? Kind of. A little bit. It's, it was a little better. Is it's it legible? Somewhere. Is it is it good now? No. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Mm -hmm. It's getting better. Uh, how big are axes? Hey. Uh, they're about horse sized. Mm. Uh, you can you and could I rent dog sleds. Uh, the reason I was just walking because I can't really ride on axe breakers or dog sleds. I prefer walking. Uh, how big are yeah. they? About a, you know what a horse is? Yeah. They do that. Uh, birds. Oh, um, yeah. I'm, I think I'm a bit too heavy. I've tried to ride a oh. horse before, and it, uh, I felt bad. And I'm definitely too big for dog sleds, so... Is, is this better? Yes, is, yes. Can I be much heard? better. Like walking. I turned off, I turned off noise suppression, so, oh, uh, this, this hopeful. Sound. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I really need to get a different microphone, man. <laughs> um, I'll work on that. I'll probably get one. Oh, okay, wait, never mind. I, I know I can get one, yeah. But for now, this will have to do. So uh, we're, we're walking. Yeah, I've never ridden on a horse before, but I don't really know how I'd do that. 
at all. So, uh, maybe walking, you, you I guess. The horse. Maybe you could wrap around it like a, a hug. Yeah, but I think I'd hurt it then. Oh, you yeah. know. Start coiling around something. Some, it's a bit constricting, you know. Yeah, uh, literally. Then we're walking. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Yes, let's walk. Monty starts walking. <laughs> uh, how we'll fall. <laughs> Not waiting. Let's go. I love all walking. Right. Walking is fun. I, I your love you walk. walking. Well, all right, man. We well, I haven't had legs for so long, so legs are yes. fun. Yes, legs. I'm sure they are. <laughs> Monty raises an eyebrow, <laughs> but doesn't question it. Walk, walking's nice. Walking certainly gets you where you need to go. Yeah. That's true. It's good at that. Wow, this is a riveting conversation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, you guys begin your journey. Uh, so, uh, you're walking for about, uh, two hours. It's pretty uneventful. It is cold. Um, and you reach the city of Targos. Uh, it is a, um, it is a walled city, uh, with a big sign out front that says, um, watch thy own purse. Oh. Haha, <laughs> I don't have a purse, so... Um, we don't literally have to go too cool. through Targos. No, we? you just have to go. You just go and past it. Yeah, good. Fun place. Yes. Uh, actually, so Monty would Monty would know about Targos. Um, pickpocketing is legal in Targos. <laughs> Finally, really? legal. <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite encouraged. Huh. Well, good solution to that. that just don't wear pants. Then you can't be pickpocketed. Yeah. You're not I'd advise wrong. not going to Targos. What's I mean, wrong with it? I mean, if you don't want to hold on to your money. Oh, are there a lot of thieves? Uh, yeah. It's it's uh it's legal. Oh, oh so what? That's uh. interesting. Well, I don't think I have to be too worried. I don't really have pockets. Oh, what are the sacrifice? <laughs> What's the sacrifice of Targos? Uh, Targos sacrifice is. Let's see. Targos sacrifices. People. Oh, <laughs> mm. good. They also sacrifice people, so. Oh, oh yeah. yeah clear, let's but... not go there. Wow, it gets more and more fun by the second, doesn't it? Sounds... I believe we have different definitions of fun. I was being terrifying. sarcastic. Oh. No. I hope there's no produce thieves here. Sacrifices could be fun to watch. I mean, I don't have any hmm? money, so... Why would that be fun to watch? Huh? It sounds um... gruesome. It sure does. That's what's the that's the best part about it, right? Sounds no. unnecessary. Yeah. Well they want the cold to go away. I guess that's how they've decided to try and make that happen. Doesn't seem to be working out too well though. It's likely they believe that the more value the sacrifice has, the more it'll appease. Uh if, if I... Oh roll. Or roll. And well, how do they go about determining value? I have no idea. Shouldn't they just get a really big blanket? What? Oh. Huh? Well, <laughs> uh, well, to keep, keep the cold me. away. That's not... Well, yeah. Dude. I don't... Okay. The warmth is important, but what? Well, is, is that, isn't that what they're doing it for? They keep the... Keep warm. Well, not doing a very good job all of, of us it. Are trying to end the eternal winter. Oh, um, yeah. So, I don't know about that one. Just 
snow is more than a blanket to cover. Anyway, we don't need to enter Targos, so best we avoid it. You don't have to tell me twice. Like All right. Tell me a third time, and then we'll be good. We shouldn't go in Targos. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> All right. So uh, you continue on walking. Uh, you get uh, you get down the uh, the trail. It's getting um, so. This is the easy part of the walk, because you're going downhill for this one. Or actually, for most of the way here, you're going down. Um, so you guys get about halfway. Oh, well, actually, I guess it would be three-quarter of the way. Um, what's everyone's passives? Probably not high. I, I wonder. Twelve. Yeah. Whoa! Mine, too! <laughs> Twelve. Twelve club. Fifteen. Mine's always twelve, except for mine's think, not. Ooh, fifteen. I think mine. Uh, Nail. Uh, Two hundred. I love when I'm wait, surprised wait, about wait, the character. What's passive again? How do you calculate it? Um, if you look on your character sheet, um, it's what's in parentheses go, next to the skill. Yeah. So, like, go to your character sheet and then look for your perception, oh, and then it's okay. out to the right. Yours is ten. Oh. Love that. <laughs> okay, actually, so everybody would get this. Really? Um, okay. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, so you guys are walking down the road. Uh, to your left is a um, a like fifteen foot tall, um, not cliff, but like the road has been carved into a hill, and it's just like a sheer drop. Well, mm. no, not drop. It's like it, it's up. What am I trying to say? It's a little, like, ridge. Uh, it's about 15 feet tall to your left. Uh, to your right is off, uh, like, down the side of a hill, and you can see out over uh, as far as you can. Also, something that I should mention that I, I mentioned to the players uh, while we were in our little um, Wi-Fi moment, but I also need to mention to you, uh, the sun never fully rises on Icewind Dale. Um... So it is constantly, um, like, when the sun first comes up, it's constantly that much brightness. Like, it is just enough to see until it is time for the sun to set, and then it is a normal night cycle uh, until uh, morning, and then it stays morning for the rest of the day. Um, so, um, all, up to your left, you all hear this, like, crying noise NOP uh, it doesn't sound like a it doesn't sound like a human crying uh, it sounds more of like a like a like an animal um does anyone else hear that no yeah. yes should we go help it sounds like it's hurt that or it's just late it's luring us so it can attack us that would be fun just the bush if it's if it's hurt then we should go assist yes yeah mm. yeah whatever this fucking like chair god start walking over all right the direction uh so you get up there roll me a perception all of us? All of us? Uh, any of you that are looking for it, yes. Uh -huh. I shall look. <laughs> no. Did I roll? Oh, did I actually... Glasses are fogged up. Wow. 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 We, we oh my god. Hold <laughs> wow. on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. Okay, oh, that just saved it. <laughs> he got it. Yeah. Mm. First right. rolls of the campaign. <laughs> so, four, yes. nine, seven, seven, four. God. <laughs> Man. So you guys crest the hill and you're looking around. You don't see anything. You just see snow. Um, also, there are not a lot of trees in this area, uh, but you just see snow. Um, except for Dayon. Is it Dayon? Dayon, yes. Dayon, okay. 
um, except for Dayon, uh, when they come over, like, you just see snow, but then you see a little patch of white, like, moving on top of the snow. Uh, and everyone still hears these, like, cries. He will, he'll point with his maul. It's there, right there, in the snow. Hard to see. Where? There. I'm, I'm pointing at it. Direction of point. Uh, yeah, so now that, somewhere. like, now that it's being pointed out, you can see it. There is, like, there's something with its back to you. Uh, it is covered in... Uh, actually, the reason you wouldn't be able to see it is that it's covered in white fur. Uh, uh, and, and it's got its back to you. It's about... It's about two and a half feet tall. White-furred Whitney. How he slowly approaches. Uh, um, uh, are you okay? Uh, so you get up to it. Make me an animal handling check. Mm-hmm. I'm proficient in that, by the way. That's good Man. proficiency. <laughs> Ouch. Wait, uh, animal what handling? Is... Oh, That's a nine. I, I... No, I, I'm no, saying no. My, my my wisdom is only ten. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Uh, Wait, so I can speak with animals, can I? I believe okay, you. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, you I, walk I up to it. So Howie walks up to it, and it turns around to look at you, and you hear it make a little yelp noise, and it starts like trying to waddle away from you. Uh, when it turns around, you see a yeti tack. Oh, what? Um, oh. It is a baby yeti. Adoptable, oh. adoptable, adoptable. Um, Actually adoptable. It is by itself. You don't see anything with it. Uh, it... It's got little horns, it's got, um, it is covered in white fur except for its face. Uh, its face is kind of like a bluish purple. Uh, is it and cute it's, or scary? It's more cute than scary. Damn it. Hello, little buddy. Uh, it wa so it starts to wander away and then it hears you talk to it and it turns around to look at you. Um, we, we, we aren't gonna hurt you. Uh, what's Probably. wrong? Probably. Uh, it, uh, it looks at, it looks at Kale and, like, turns uh, his my, head my to you. My name is Pistachio, not Kale. Oh, Kale. <laughs> <laughs> Kale is the, Kale Kale's is... the Kobold yeah. from Kral. Kale's yeah. the Kobold, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so it turns to look at, uh, Pistachio and, like, cocks its head at you. Uh, it looks terrified. I Oh, um, I will sort of like, like bend down to like, uh, I like. How, does anybody know how like the Asian squat? You, you know how that uh, what? Oh no. y'all, um, <laughs> like, like I squat down real low. Okay. And then I sort of, oh, okay. And then um, like, can I can I pick one of my one of my tail head leaves? Uh, I could cast animal. Pulls out hair. Can't work. Ow! Cast animal friendship. He's a man. A good question. I mean, he's communicating with it right now. That's good. You're right. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, now that I see it, is it injured in any way? Or uh, no, it does not look injured. Okay, it just looks alone. Where is your mother, little thing? Uh, it looks around like it has no clue. Uh, and it, like, makes that crying noise again. Um, maybe we can f find them. Uh, where would a, where would a mama get me be? Uh, it turns around and, like, go, it, like, so it's got tracks that have been left in the snow that are starting to fill up, and it, like, starts waddling back towards the tracks. Oh, yeah, uh, yes, I would. <laughs> should we, we follow? Yes, I, I think we should. Get the little one home. The distance. If I freeze to death, it's on all of you guys, though. Oh. I think I will live. You, you will not freeze. Uh, Debatable. I have a, a blanket you could have. 
Yeah, I'll take it. We'll help wrap the blanket around you. It's a nice blanket. You're Warm. slightly warmer now. Yeah. Well, actually, would you even be? Because that's that only really helps keep internal body oh, heat. Oh, true, in. true, true. Does it create body heat? Yeah. Oh well, it's still something. I'll take it. Uh, uh, All right. That better. Eh, probably. Oh, Thank you. Okay. Ben's already started following the tracks. How are you? Alright, following, but he's Follow. also keeping track of where the, direct where the road is. <laughs> which direction we should actually be going to Bremen. So. Alright, uh, we get it. The, the rest of so, us? No. So, Quinn, roll me a survival check. See if you can follow these tracks without them. Or see if you can track them. See if I can track the tracks. Yeah. Uh, well, they are filling up with snow, like, by the second, so. Uh, okay, so you, so you follow this, um, you follow this little yeti and the tracks for a little while, uh, and you reach a, um, you reach kind of a, like, a drop-off, uh, maybe about ten feet or so, uh, and way off in the distance you see that there are, um, there are two people, uh, one of them has a rather large, uh, match, uh, matchlock rifle, uh, and the other is, um, the other is kneeling down with, like, a skinning knife, skinning something white in the snow. Oh, boy. <laughs> I wonder what, I wonder what they're getting. Uh, this doesn't look great. Um... um. Uh, I don't know. Should we let him see this, or just turn so, around? No, no, turn around. Okay. Adoptable question mark. Yes. yes. Okay. Think about think about it like this. We adopt him. We raise him, and then we use now. him in battle. <laughs> That's what I did with Humphrey. It's just yeah. glorified Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, really Pokemon. is what our D and D campaigns Pokemon turn into. With extra <laughs> steps. True. Um, oh, can I try to get the little Yeti's attention? Uh, sure, sure. Um, just, um, some, come here, little one. Uh, See it, you. it acknowledges you said something, but it doesn't seem to actually understand what you're saying. Uh, how we all bend like... down low and kind of beckon. Come here. Roll me an animal handling again. <laughs> this bitch doesn't, <laughs> this bitch doesn't. Come here, I'm gonna better. <laughs> oh yeah, a lot better. Him. Okay, it it like waddles over towards you and like sniffs the air and then like starts coming a little closer to you. He's probably within about five feet of you now. Within how I'm five up. feet of Howie? Yeah. He'll kind of pick him up as a, someone would pick up a baby. Um, let's go that way. Any points? Uh, it starts, like, flailing in your hands. It's not, like, making much noise, but it is, like... It's not used to being picked up. Oh, oh, sorry. And he'll lower it back down to the ground. Uh, you, you should... Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna pick one of my... I'm gonna pick one of my kale leaves and, like, sort of hold it in front of the, the Yeti. Like, uh, just, like... Yeah, that's it. Like, not beckoning, I'm just holding it in the front. Do, do you uh, eat... Uh, do you eat... Uh, plants? It, uh, it comes over and sniffs it. Uh, and then, like, it takes it. And it tries, it, like, bites it. And it crunches a little bit of it. Uh, and it doesn't spit it back out, but it just drops what's left of the leaf. Yeah. I can't imagine Damn. Yetis are herbivores. Yeah. Or even omnivores. Yeah. Especially in the snow. Um. Quinn's gonna take one of the earrings out of his ear and hold it out. Go, do you like shiny things? Are you giving it that to eat? No! To play with, it's a child. Child uh, can like to play with things that are shiny, yes. Child uh, can choke too. Childs can play just like childs play. Until they're age six. <laughs> and then they can no longer choke. 
Yeah, choke choking immunity you get at age six. Uh, that's a, that's my favorite childhood buff. <laughs> that's my that's my favorite trait of children. Like my favorite until get, feature. Until you get on the until you get up to the age on the box, you're susceptible. But as soon as you get like get the age or older on the box, it's like you you're immune to choking. I remember when I, I was a hundred and I and I lost the building Legos trait. Oh man, <laughs> St starting we're starting this campaign at age three. Man, I got I to start with a choking debuff. <laughs> It'd be like that. So we can't let it just wander out here, won't we? Have to find a way for it to come with us. Um, uh, maybe it speaks just a, a pick it different up. language. Um, it didn't... Uh, can you understand me? He says in Primordial. It, it does not even acknowledge that you said anything. Oh, um, maybe not. Well, this one seemed to be able to communicate with a gesture to pistachio. Pistachio is now this one. This one seems to be able to communicate. That's right, I'm a Khajiit. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, hello, little Yeti fellow. And I'll sort of go up and like, like, I don't want to say take his hand, but like, sort of like, start ushering it like, away. Come here, little Yeti fellow. Baby. Little Yeti baby. Roll animal handling but give me I'll, I'll give you advantage on it okay great uh, I forgot how to do advantage again. uh shift click wow oh, wow <laughs> double 13. wow man what okay. are the odds well that uh that beats it anyway so uh it's gonna start going with you so, uh, yeah. Do you, think bringing, do you think it's bringing a yeti into a town is going to be a problem? Um, Why don't we just yes. disguise him? I, How? I have some cloth we could make into like clothes for a baby. Oh, a terrible idea. Yes, oh we can God. bundle him up. Right. Wait, how, how large is this yeti baby? Uh, Like three foot. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> big, I, almost the same height. That is a it's toddler. A <laughs> toddler. <laughs> Yeti toddler. Um, I don't know about children. Well, we could just... I don't know, we have kind of the same fur. Do you guys yeah. think we could take it to an orphanage? Uh, I don't think they would take that. <laughs> But we can disguise know. it. But then they might but get for rid how of long? it. Yeah. Uh. So we can be the only thing we can do. Or the skinning? Is this still skin. going on? It has the skinning going. <laughs> um, oh my god! <laughs> that's a good question. So, uh, they, um, they seem to be wrapping it up. Uh, they, <laughs> like... The guy who was down there with the skinning knot is like rolling it up into a uh, a bundle and like throwing it up on his shoulder, uh, and then the other one has gone to like get the dog sled and they're loading it onto a dog sled. Hmm. Why? Why do people do that? Mom, uh, it is quite cold out here. It is survival, but these are not the the ones they should be. Hunting. Uh, so I will say the one that they are hunting is a full-sized yeti. Oh. Like, it is an adult yeti. This is, like, a baby. The baby. Three-foot baby. I wonder if there's a, there's a papa yeti. Uh, maybe that was it. Who knows? Oh, lord. <laughs> oh, my God. Either way... Probably not a good idea to bring this thing over there and check. Oh, protect child. Our, our yeti now. <clears throat> um, should we give him a name? Yeti. That's oh, not about, very creative. Um... Well, I'm not very. I'm not a very creative person. So well, at least you admit it. Why don't Why don't How you come up with something better? Uh, 
Um, Archibald. Um, Archibald. Uh, okay. I, 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 that works, I guess. And the little Archie. Archie. I like Archie. Archibald. Archie. Oh, well, first I first actually got to ask. So I'm going to, like, because <laughs> I, I don't think I can directly communicate, but, like, do you have a name, little baby yeti baby man? Somehow I doubt it. <laughs> it um it looks at you uh and then like turns its head sideways like it has no idea what you're talking about. I'm like sort of do like a, a little dance along with like an interpreter dance. Do you have a name? How do you do an interpretive you? dance of that question? <laughs> <laughs> what does yeah, that I, mean? I'm, no no no, I got I, it. You know, I got it. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna like, perform dance. dance. Do you do you little little daddy baby man have have a little have a name <laughs> a, 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 a name yeah no i don't i don't uh, think that's going to get across i don't think that's going to get across i wish that you guys i wish that you guys could have seen what <laughs> what we've just seen nightbot angie nightbot do be angie oh Nightbot got my cousin. <laughs> Nightbot is Ouch. on the war path. <laughs> just don't, pro tip, just don't say anything in chat. No, don't. Never do it. Nightbot. Yeah, Nightbot, <laughs> Nightbot gets me every time Inkscape uh, streams, because I'll, <laughs> I'll try to interact with him and it'll be like, no. Sorry, no interacting. <laughs> and there they are. <laughs> Tempting fate. Is that a camel? Or looks bad? <laughs> oh, that is not oh. a camel. That oh, is a mustache yeti. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Mustache yeti. Um, Interesting. Yeah, so th does the interpreter dance work in the slightest? Um. <laughs> it seems to not actually understand what you're saying at all. Um, but it starts like making, it starts like moving its hands around. In what way? Like, how, what? Like, it's what the way that it's not so Like, it's trying to mimic you. Oh. 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 Um. How he, how he lightly uh, pats the, the Yeti and then points to Pistachio. Um, Papa. Okay, looks I guess... At you like, what? I guess we're assigning family roles then. <laughs> Um, oh, can I can I cast a minor illusion and like point like do another little interpreter dance thing? Me and I'm gonna I'm gonna um, like minor illusion. Uh, if I remember correctly, minor illusion is a five by five square. Where? Like, uh, five square. by five square cube. Uh, uh, five by five brown bricks cube of brown. Uh, bricks. yes, the five feet cube. So I'll sort of like. I'm gonna point at myself, and then sort of like, in, in a non-scary way, make myself like another yeti, like, and then I'm gonna turn myself back into normal me, and then put me, and I'm gonna do it again. So like, get the point across. Okay, it it makes, um, presumably happy yeti noises. I don't know what a happy yeti sounds like. Happy yeti noises. <laughs> and I don't then exactly know I what guess... a happy yeti sounds like. And then, <laughs> mm -hmm. they sound anybody... like. No, that's the end of my sentence. Oh. Does anybody? Is... They don't exist. Does anybody have any food? Um. Yeah, I have some rations. Uh, it's like have... just beef jerky. Uh, yeah, and he'll pull out some jerky. Um, here. Uh, it it starts tearing into that as soon as you give it to it. Oh, hey, uh, I'm hungry. Man. I don't think it's a herbivore. I think it favors meat. Uh, uh, meat is good. I, I have Let me tell you. Plenty of jerky. I get kind of hungry. Um, so, 
we have to make sure we feed Archibald and um, we have to make sure we care for baby as as good as we can. Y yeah. Well, obviously. Yeah? You guys have fun with that. I don't really know how to care for uh, little ones and I'm pretty sure I'll just scare him. Well, honestly, this thing is probably older than me. How old are you? That is a good question, actually. He's, he's going to look at the sky. Uh, several day cycles. I, actually, I don't know. Uh, maybe many several day cycles. Cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. I, I will admit it's, it is quite difficult to determine weeks by the sun. Yeah. If it's even shown. Uh, let's just say old enough and leave it at that. Hmm. Quite. Well, where, where now? I guess to where we're going. Better figure out a disguise on the way there, uh, though. Um, is anyone... What'd you say? What, what'd you say at the end there? Uh, better figure out a disguise on the way there, he said. Oh. Is anyone good with sewing or cloth? Uh, I can't say I'm, well, I'm gonna take that as a no. Suffice to swaddle them. Well, I, I hear, and he'll pull out some cloth, and he'll uh, tear it so it's about big enough for for this yeti baby. Uh, yeah. Here and he'll gently swaddle the, the yeti baby in the cloth. All right, it um, <laughs> it flails a little less this time. Um, it it uh, it definitely does not have any problem getting out of the cold. I'll tell you that much. Uh, good job, Archie. And he'll hand him another piece of beef jerky he will immediately take it from you. Seems babies are a lot hungrier than they thought. Well, it is three feet, so... Yeah, and... if it's that hungry... Hmm. Oh, I have more jerky, but I think I need to stock up on it. So when we get to town, we can feed it more. And me. Right. If we're gonna keep this thing, yeah, well, we'll have plenty of money to buy food after we lightly maim that person. Right. Um. Well, I, I guess let's keep going. All right. Do you? So you all continue on. Shall I yes. carry the child? Or With the child. Do you wish, do you wish to? Hold that weight. Do you wish to bear the burden? <laughs> wait, the burden. wait, wait, wait. I thought, wait, hold on. I thought like, you you swap the child isn't like like how you do a baby for carrying or just like like babushka the, the yeti where you wrap around the face like feel. He's a he's a yeti burrito. Both <laughs> yeti burrito. Um. So if if. Someone needs to carry him. I can. Or keep, keep. let's keep moving. Monty keeps moving as he said. All right, let's. That way, you will carry the baby. Um, All right. Girl follow along. This has got to be the quickest adoptable in history. No, no, yeah, yeah, we got him. Speed running, <laughs> adopting <laughs> things. <laughs> Honestly. It's so, like um, that. you guys head yeah. towards, uh, Bremen back on the trail, and you cross over a little bridge, uh, over a frozen, um, over, like, a frozen river, a uh, frozen and you get... river? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's, that's fun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> over up. a bridge, okay. Well, I mean, uh, I guess if it is big enough, big enough to throw Uh, so you guys... Yeah, so this river... So Aswindale, um, 
there is not a lot of water that is actually moving in Icewind. Like, it's got to be deep for it to actually be moving. Yeah, I imagine a lot of it is just ice. Yeah, this is just a big creek, There's essentially. There, too. Cool. there is a little bit of wind, a little bit of dale. Reed, uh, who's dale, by the way? Can we no determine cool. that? He owns That's the ice fucking right. and the wind. Yeah. So uh, you guys get... So you guys uh, see Bremen uh, off in the distance. It is a uh, it is a small town. Uh, it's about 150 people ish. Uh, it is so it is sitting uh, like around a small inlet uh, that goes into uh, the Mare Duldon, which that is the the river or not the river the um, the lake that this town sits on the edge of. Uh, so from what you can see, uh, the water in the lake is, it is frozen for a good 40 feet out before you can actually get to any water. Um, nice. uh, this town is not big at all. Um, and it also sits, so it sits on the, the river. Uh, the river is where all the fishing industry in this town is. Um, uh, and when you get in there, uh, there are a few people that are like out on Main Street. Uh, and there is this... Um, there is this human kid. Uh, and he's like... He's pushing this um, this dwarven man who looks like he's he doesn't know where he is. He's, like, pushing him back towards a house. Uh, and there are a few people watching, and they're, like, talking to the... They're talking to each other out in the... Uh, out in the streets, and... Ooh, it's, gossip. It's pretty quiet. Um... What, what do you think's going on? Hmm. Only one way to find out. I'm gonna walk up to the kid. Alright. What the fuck are you up to, you stupid child? No. <laughs> uh, so, uh, as you as you get closer, this kid is talking to this old man. Uh, come on, Mr. Speaker. Um, you're, you're, you're right here. Do you know where your key is? My what? Your, your key. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, and he grabs his key out of his pocket or he grabs a key ring out of his pocket and there are no keys on it like it is just a ring <laughs> oh, oh, nice uh, you know what you know uh, that's that's okay that's okay we'll we'll get you one the speaker seems rather nice compared to mine <laughs> um is everything all right oh um uh, yeah, yeah, everything's okay. Um, he, uh, the speaker just, uh, he needs some rest. Oh, okay. Well, Mr. Shellscar, do you, uh, do you, do you remember where you had your keys last? Oh, well, I think there's, uh, there's one in my mailbox. You haven't had a mailbox in years, Mr. Shellscar. Oh. Huh. Wow. This is a certified old person moment. Uh, yeah, this dude is old. He's a... Uh, this is a shield dwarf, man. He's old by dwarf standards. Oh, he's ancient. Yeah. He's gotta be at least eight or nine hundred. Oh. Like, this guy's old. <laughs> old people moment. Uh, and he is also the speaker. Uh, which is sort of like the town mayor. Yep. Um, and the kid goes over and, like, pulls up the mat uh, at the door and, like, pulls out a little key. Found you one! Uh, and he goes and opens the door for him. Uh, well, uh, can, I, can I help y'all? Uh, mm. Um, you wouldn't happen to know where... Um, what was his name? I don't know. Dead person. I don't believe 
we were informed of his name. But do you know of the recent murder in the area, Mr. Speaker? Um, well, hmm. Well, there was that, um, there was that dragonborn fella. Uh, Mr. Speaker, that was, that was years ago. Oh. Um, These people need to elect a new speaker, man. Yeah. Too old. It's too, actually too old for this. Yeah. I, I think you're, I'm sorry. I, I think you're talking about Mr. Uh, Mr. Druskel. Ooh, yes. Hmm. Indeed. Yeah, um... Sorry, my, my grandfather is, um... He's, um... He, he struggles with memory. Damn, I struggle with memory sometimes. To that extent, though? Yeah. Hmm. Well, how do you, how do you hmm. fix it? Usually it just all comes back to me. Hmm. I don't, I don't know if that's going to work here. <laughs> you just got to find I the memory. I don't think he has the time. <laughs> <laughs> just get your memories back for him. <laughs> yeah, just fucking what? find it, idiot. <laughs> just get it They're under your door. You, lost, you, you lost the memory? Fucking to retrace your steps. Dumbass. <laughs> so rude to children and old people. <laughs> As we should be. <laughs> um, I usually have a, a notebook that helps me remember things. Notebook one time, I used to draw things. Yeah, no, me, me no too. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Uh oh. Mm, maybe he can try. I. I can't say I have to worry about memory myself. Hey, look, kid, do you know where this person's body is? <laughs> That's a very pointed question. Hey, kid, yes, have you seen is. a dead body? <laughs> look, we're investigating <laughs> it or whatever. We need to find it. Um, you're gonna want to see uh, the Undertaker. Uh, there's like a coffin shop a few uh, a few doors down. Uh, you're gonna want to go see him. I think he's got him. And his name is the Undertaker. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh my god. Sounds... Well, his name is Mr. Sanderson, but oh, never that mind, lame. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but where is that? Uh, go down by the docks, uh, and go about three or four houses down. Uh, from the last dock, and then it'll it'll be the next one on your left. Uh, okay, um, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you you can't miss it. Uh, well, let, let's let's go. I I guess. Come have on. fun. Have fun with your grandfather. He he gives you a <laughs> he gives you a smile of like I'm trying. <laughs> um. Come come on, Mister Shellscar. We, we you're you almost made it. Well, they were nice folk. Who's that over there? That's your neighbor. Oh, well, all right. Uh, and he finally manages to corral the speaker into into his own house. <laughs> it doesn't seem highly qualified to run this town. No. Yeah, I. I... He's not the least qualified. I don't know, I kind of like By far. Well, you know, about traditions and such, sometimes somebody's elected into office and then they feel so bad that they won't unelect them even when they really need to. Like now. Yeah. I think a, a good leader is important. Well, um... Uh, I think it's this way. And he's walking in the direction of the docks. All right. Yep. So, um, so you guys head down towards the dock, uh, and you begin to uh, 
to make the turn, and you hear all of you hear, "Hey, <laughs> you're late. What are you? What, what? What are you all doing? You're late." Uh, late walking up you? to you is a, a shield dwarf man uh, who looks about he looks about middle aged, and he is dressed in the most fisherman attire you've ever seen in your life. Oh, do tell. What are we late for? Mm -hmm. Exactly. We did just kind of get here, so. Yeah, I know you're... He pulls out a pocket watch. You're three hours late. We're supposed to be fishing at sunrise. Uh, fishing? <laughs> we are not fishermen. Yeah. Uh, kind of, you must be quite confused. What? Now listen, we had an agreement you hear. It was five copper a trout. Literally have never talked to you before in my life. Go away. I don't... Who do you think we are? I don't know you. Are you not the employees I hired? No. No. Employees? Roll me a persuasion. Yes. Persuasion? Yeah, someone roll me a persuasion. We're telling the truth, man. I will because it's funny. Fuck. Hey. What are we trying to persuade him to do? Take us take a minute? Just leave us alone. Leave us the fuck alone. Go away! <laughs> Not one. Ignore it. That didn't happen. Let's see. Never so heard. let's let's do a little average on this group check. Let's see. Oh, if uh -huh. we're doing an average, may I roll them? Sure, sure. Please roll. Help oh, add, average, to the, please. add to the pool. <laughs> Persuasion. I have a charisma caster, so I should. Yeah, add. Not... Uh, yeah, that's not... a pretty good average, I think. I think. I rolled a five. Uh, you guys got a ten point six. Oh boy. No. no. I, now look, I I hired all of you. I I no. even agreed on a good price for all of you. No, no, you didn't. Shut up. I I, I don't know you. I'm sorry. Mm. So do you think we? If you uh, if you hired I, me, then what is my name? I don't, I don't know, you know, okay. you know how much I had to drink when I hired you people? Monty keeps walking. <laughs> just still, just, just, just go away, go harass the next group of people to walk into town. Monty has fucking left. Oh, uh, whatever. The I... little this drink next time. Uh, I hope you find whoever you hired. I hope you don't. No, whatever. <laughs> uh, and he goes off mumbling. Do any of you know Dwarven? No, I no, know. Uh, dwarven. I don't think I do. No. Nope. Hang on, hang on. No. Monty does indeed know dwarven. Oh boy. Oh, Monty. <laughs> Is he gonna be fucking swearing at us? Oh shit! Come here. I do not know dwarven. Fight yeah, me, bitch. Monty. Monty can understand what he's saying. He is, he is calling you some things. I'm gonna fucking turn this bitch into paste um, with a mall. So he goes back over to his little fishing shack on the river, uh, and above the door is a sign that says, um, it says barrel bore. Hey, good thing. Now we know never to go there. A <laughs> place uh, to avoid number one. So actually, you guys would you guys actually would know because you were told about this guy. This may be the guy that got in cahoots to kill the other dude. I don't know. Hey, oh, oh, we do have oh, we have to talk to him. God, no. What is it? The barrel mm. bore? The guy has a yeah. rivalry with the person who's dead, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Monty, mm, I don't know if Monty would ever. Thank you. Would not explain the dwarvish swears going on here. Hey, Probably that guy. Probably. Weren't we supposed to do something with the name, like the shop? I don't remember. I really hope not, because I don't want to talk to that man ever again. Uh, Monty <laughs> sighs. Likely. Uh, oh, right. He's the guy that, yeah. Okay. That's mm. fun. Oh well, if he's evil, we'll just, you know. We'll just what? We'll just arrest him. You know. Right? Wink. I don't know. <laughs> I'd like you to explain it in ex detail we'll to me. No, 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 no. You know. No. Wink. No, he I says don't. wink audibly. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why you're saying wink. Uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I, I don't what? know. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm it's referring to. Blink. Yeah. Well. Yeah, well, wait. <laughs> Hold on, I don't know yes. this. 
I think. Do snakes know. have eyelids? <laughs> uh, no. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why he said wink. <laughs> he said wink. I don't wink at him. I, I, I can't. I don't have I, whatever. Yes, but I'd like to know what you are in plane. This I this joke got away from me. I'm I'm. Let's just go. <laughs> I was talking about killing him, but you know, oh. uh, you, you guys so made I, it un. You guys made it unfun. So let's just go talk to the other guy. So I just to talk wanted to. to hear you say it out loud. Okay. Well, you knew what I was gonna say. So rude. Yes, I did. I, no. I, I didn't. I don't, I don't want to hurt him. Yeah, I do. I especially cannot, after that interaction. I, I cannot advocate for murder. So well, I, I can. Then we know who leads the... Well, at least we know who doesn't lead the talks. <laughs> Shut up. Let's go. I believe we do. And Monty has still been watching. Quinn is glaring. <laughs> Dayan. Dayan. Dayan looks a little, a little smug, just a bit. <laughs> just a bit smug. It's gonna be sad. As smug as a snake can look. I I'm smug, I'd imagine. Pretty Shit smug. eating grin on his face, <laughs> I think. Snakes, I'd imagine, can give a very wide grin. Oh, Wait, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, you guys head down, uh, you guys head down towards the coffin maker's shop, uh, and you can clearly see because their sign is shaped like a coffin. Uh, we like that, on brand. Nice aesthetics, uh, right? They're enthusiastic about their job. Yeah, uh, um, so it's actually called The Last Nail. Ah, uh, wow. The Last, the last Nail <laughs> the good, Coffin. That's a good, that's a good name. name. It's a really good one. Um... <laughs> Man, aren't these game designers wonderful? <laughs> so, uh, you guys... So you guys get there, uh, and the shop is open. Uh, and there is a... You can see there's a, um... There is a winter Aladrin walking around in there. Um... And he's, like, picking up spare nails, like, off the floor. Oh, that'll be fun. That'll be fun to step on. Monty, is the door open? Uh, it's not locked, but it is It is closed. Okay, Monty will knock on the door. Uh, he goes up and opens it. Um, well, hello. Um, uh, can I help you? Yes, could we? Would you love word? to explain? Could we have a word with you? Don't mind. Sure. Um, would you like to come in? Yes. Monty will enter. Oh, you'll follow. He's been holding the baby this uh, entire time. <laughs> um, I'm going to like, loudly exclaim, Wow, what a tall fellow. Yeah. Um, well, um, how can I help you? So you know the person that was murdered? You know, um, Mr. Duskrull, yes. Sure, can we see his body? You're very to the point. I mm -hmm. feel um, like we should clarify. We are investigators. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, I see. Um, roll me a persuasion, I, somebody. I'd like to perform an autopsy, if you don't mind. <laughs> Who's got a persuasion? I don't know. Uh, no. Come on. He minds. I have a plus five in persuasion. I should be doing better than this shit. What are these these rolls tonight, man? Not great. We're not doing too hot. Uh, uh we 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 were sent by um what were their what was their name? I'm bad with names, I'm sorry. Lynn Troll Bane. Yeah. yeah. Was sent by her. Do you know her? Mm. Let's see, does he know her? Let's see, does he know her? Hmm, I know her. Um 
the uh, the old bounty hunter from uh, Bryn Shander. Yeah, um, that's the one. We... Investigating the murder. Mm hmm. And she sent you here to do what with Mr. Duskroll? Autopsy. Yes. Mm. Um, I am a trained doctor. Dr. Eld. He, he holds out his hand. Uh, he will uh, he will shake your hand. Um, it's a pleasure, but um, I Mind if I stay in the room with you, then? Um, uh, I don't mind at all. If you feel the need to. Alright, well, um, yeah, follow me, then. Of course you look at a body. You probably... That's my it. job. Yeah, that's what I figured. What a fun job, by the way. I envy you. It's not... It's not the best thing in the world, but... That's aside the point. Uh, they teach their own. Follow, follow me. Uh, so he takes you back to a um, he takes you back to a uh, a room that is very cold. Um, it's essentially like a little outdoor workshop. Uh, like it's screened in so people can't see. Oh, uh, but like, it, it's <laughs> like you're pretty much on a porch back here because it's so cold that you could just leave them out and it won't. <laughs> and oh, it doesn't bother anything. Decompose. Wow. My yeah. back Fuck. is killing me. Holy shit. I fucking hate this chair. Tell it to stop. I, I can't. <laughs> so what else? He's right. Uh, yeah. So he's so he's clearly been like. So wait. So he's showing us the body. You said. Yeah, he's taking you out there too. So you, you're in like a screen, or you're in like a a fenced in like porch, uh, with like a screen over the ceiling, so that like snow can't get on the person, but um. It is so cold out here that he can just leave them here on the slabs, and it won't... They'll be fine. Mm -hmm. uh, How many so bodies he, are out here? Uh, just just Mr. Duskroll. Okay. From what you How's can his see. body looking? Um, there are a few coffins that have been, that have been made, uh, and there is one that is currently... It's like in the process of being put together that's a, about, give or take, his dimensions. Um... He is covered up in a white sheet. Mm. Body are reveal. You... Face reveal! <laughs> are any of you sensitive to... or squeamish towards this... Um, a little... matter? What's the opposite of that? So Enthralled? Maybe... Are you, you're enthused by it? Kinda. Decom decomposition is just part of nature. I think it's fun. Room, but... I am on too familiar. I only ask. Monty will uh, look to the to the to the owner of the place and be like, "You can you can take off the cloth." Uh, yeah, he motions for you to. He like motions towards him. Zave, maybe you and the little one can go to the other room to feel more comfortable. Um, I... I love that art, Omar. Maybe. Yeah. I I think I can handle it. That is good. Aww. You sure about that? I, I oh. think so. Hmm? Brave. Uh, let's see it. Alright, let's see the body. Alright. That's a terrible so thing to... Say. I would like to see the body. <laughs> so you uh, you lift up the sheet, uh, and there is a uh, there is a wood elf man laying there. Uh, his eye uh, his eyes are covered up with two copper coins, uh, and he is he looks fine until you get to about the bottom of the neck, and there is a big puncture wound right at the sternum. All right, uh, gory. This is check. look. Um, he's been cleaned up for the most part, so it's not too bad. Can I make an autopsy slash medicine check? Uh, yes. I can make an autopsy check. 19. Okay. So, with a 19, you, uh, you get a, a look at him. Uh, he was... Uh, 
You were told that he was stabbed with a, uh, he was stabbed with a knife made out of ice. Yeah. Um, and so the wound looks like it, like, the wound looks like when it hit, he was, what's the best way to say this? He was, like, obviously it's cold, so he's gonna be, like, like, the body is going to be hard, but, like, he's rock solid. I, I should have worded that differently. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was about to, I was I about to say something. Rock, rock nice. solid. Um, <laughs> fucking solid, dude. But, like, you, know, sometimes you can assume... <laughs> you can assume whatever, like, uh, the knife that stabbed him froze him from the inside out. <laughs> Ooh, that's oh. fucking... That's oh. cool. Mm. It's curious to be frozen on the inside uh -oh. before he died. <gasps> really? That's fat. There's so many interesting ways to murder. That's the one. Sounds awful. It is. <laughs> Monty just kind of squints at Dion. Mm hmm. Yes. Whatever. <laughs> uh, it's nothing. Uh, well, very unfortunate. Uh, anything else? Is that it? Um, he just. Does he, is he holding a note that says, "Here, who is murdered me, and um, here is his location on the map"? So, are the you checking? Letters. So, are you checking his like pockets or anything? Or are you like? Luke I mean, body. I assume they were checked beforehand, but I mean, you never uh, know. They may not have been. Uh, uh, I just how death works. You die, you blow <laughs> you... crown in your pockets. That is true. Uh, yes, uh, Luke especially if you die in Targos. Hey, if you die yeah. in Targos, yeah. You, you don't even need to die there. <laughs> yes, but say you don't even need to really die you there. You can't have shit in Targos. I really can't have shit in Targos. I was kind of assuming he didn't have clothes on. No, he does. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Naked. So, um, yeah, so, like, you check his pockets, uh, and inside is a crumpled up piece of parchment. What mm. were you saying about that note? <laughs> Hell yeah. Here is, here is the exact location on the Icewell Dell map of the murderer. Why does nobody, <laughs> why did nobody check the pockets before laying him for rest? Look, I'm just a coffin maker. I have no clue. Usually, mm. buckets are empty by the time someone hits the ground. I suppose uh, Monty will pull it out and look over it. Okay. Uh, it is a um, it is an invoice uh for the Torg uh, shipping company. Um, uh, Mr. Duskrel was having new fishing equipment shipped to him. Uh, and it was supposed to arrive two days ago. Uh, and from what you've been told, he was killed two days ago. Uh, yeah, this doesn't look good for that guy, I'll say that much. Should we invest? This is an invoice toward shipping. About, you know, about fishing supplies. Oh, the guy who... The guy who yelled at us in the street? Uh, is it? The same I don't know. Guy? Wait, am no. I? Um, I was just, sure the one who was right. going from town to town. Mixed up company names. Yeah, so Torg is like a um, it's a shipping company that is just it, it's a bunch of dog sleds that run around the country and they do like little pop up shops. Oh yes. Uh, so that that kind of ties in with uh, a murder murder following the dog sleds. I think. Mm hmm Okay. Interesting. Mm. So, do we investigate this the torque? Yeah, so they're still around town, uh, Undertaker. Um, well, they were here a couple days ago, but they left out. Um, do you know where they're headed? 
Well, last time I checked, I think that... Well, if I remember correctly, they said they were going to... Oh, goodness. I wrote it down, and it is, it is gone. The town. taken ah. by Tark. <laughs> Like it was in Targos. Uh, last place I know they were going to Goodmead. Mm. Goodmead. Oh yay! More traveling in the snow. Do, do they have good good mead there? They do. They they really do. Oh. Uh, all of the the ferry in East Haven shut down, so it's kind of hard to get spread around now. You can't really get it unless you can go to. Good mead, but oh yeah. Well, uh, you might say I'm not gonna make that joke. Never mind. That would be too fucking canned. Or you I was gonna mead. say no. I was gonna say you can't. You might say you can't have shit in Icewind Dale, but no. Can't no, if you can't have shit. You can't have shit in Targos. Get it right. Ooh, that was too canned. Too canned of a joke to make this early. Kaka, <laughs> kaka. I don't know what a toucan makes. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It isn't. How far away is uh, good meat? Oh, good mead. Good mead. Okay. Okay. Good mead from Bremen. Uh, let's see. Um, but, and then let's see. Good mead is. Oh my neck. Let's see. Uh, from Bryn Shander, it's six. It's six hours on foot. Um, uh, and you're four away from Bryn Shander. So is it two hours or so ten no? Hours. It's ten hours. Oh no, oh. Uh, <laughs> that ain't great. Wait, How ten late hours? is it? All right. What time is it? Um, after let's see. I would say it's probably about uh, probably about one in the evening. Hmm. <laughs> We're stuck here for the night, besties. <laughs> well, we can we can investigate the the other guy, I guess, while we're here. Well, okay, yeah. here. All right. Okay. Uh, hmm. Also, Omar said he had to go to dinner real quick, so I don't know if he can still yeah. hear us. But do we want to take a quick break? Can Omar still hear us? Yes. That's a good question. Let us take break. And the question I am asking. Bead eating. I was gonna say investigate that asshole and then find a very a much quicker mode of transportation. Oh wait, oh, yeah. here's here's hour. the plan. Okay, so to distract him, we actually take his job and then just do it really badly so he has to constantly supervise us while somebody else goes to the bathroom. In quotation marks. What? It sounds like you've done this before. That's a great what idea, going, actually. What is it's going, actually a we really do, good We do the job. Yeah, why? why? Okay, but we need to sneak around just, his shit. Yeah, we need, to, we need to look through his shit so we distract him by taking his job and just doing it so fucking badly that he has to constantly help us. So then somebody else can sneak off to go investigate his house. True. <laughs> Uh, interesting, I guess. Uh, we need to provide for our new child. Yeah, we need yeah. to find <laughs> we need to find somewhere for our new child so they don't have to uh, go with us. True. Just, uh, the house. Just Just break into someone's idea. house and put them there. How much is a house in one of these towns, Azzy? That's a good question. Um, oh no, I've got it. We gaslight the mayor. Right into thinking that it's a, oh, it's a no. normal child, and then he'll oh, take care of it for a few hours. Using of the elderly. No. <laughs> oh no! no. Better elderly That's abuse. That's gotta be some kind of crime. We're doing I enjoy in one. I enjoy getting to be able to suggest this kind of stuff again and actually be serious about it. <laughs> oh my god! So I'm gonna say a small house would be like. I don't know, fifteen hundred gold. Damn. Um. And even then, there aren't any real. There really aren't any vacant houses in this in this village, at least. Is there like a inn? Um. 
Yeah, you would have passed one in uh, on the way here. Well, actually, wait, hold on, let me look. Uh, let's see. Yes, there is. Oh, we can just... I'm... We probably shouldn't leave him there by himself. <laughs> we need to make friends. <laughs> That's what we, no, we need. do. We need to make friends so so we have someone we can trust. The kid, <laughs> all right. Um, the he's a kid. The the thing the the yeti is a kid. They'll get along. They'll get, oh, they'll no. well. No. They'll bond over. Um, they'll bond over dementia. Yeah. <laughs> bond over the joys of childhood. Why am I so great at coming up with ideas? I don't know. It's mind blowing, honestly. I know. Oh no. I'm just saying. I feel like. I I feel like, you could take. I don't know why this just popped in my head, but it did, and I'm I've got to figure out a way to work this into a conversation. But I feel like, um. Dimension door would like, like if if the old senile speaker cast it, I really feel like it would just be dementia door. Dementia, <laughs> dementia door. door. That's good. <laughs> I didn't know how to work that into a conversation, so I just had to bring it out there. It's a good joke. You don't teleport it. You teleport even. to nowhere specific. You forget where you are. <laughs> Somewhere you think you know, but you're not really sure because you can't remember. <laughs> yeah, like you pop out on the other side and you instantly lose your bearings and you're like, where am I? You teleport, but then you effect you fall into the effects of the confusion spell. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh. Oh, wait, no, no more. I'm gonna grab a donut real quick. Indeed. I'm gonna go grab a stack. I'm gonna use this time to think of more murder plots for Buckley. Oh, God. For Put Buckley. The for Buckley. Alright. Put them under the murder plan stock. Okay. So. What if. Okay. We. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about Buckley. What if we... Oh, right. The Buckley situation. Yeah, oh, yeah. I forgot no, this about is, that. This is for, for them. Uh, take, take, some, take this free time to figure out how to most effectively murder him. Um, I'm also gonna go get a Still in cold blood. You know. Okay. So, what if we... Okay, I know this is gonna sound bad, but what if we tell him to go into a closet and then have Rowan accidentally lock it? Okay, and then he's he starves to death. Okay, uh, so, I came oh, back to he starves to death. And I'm talking. About, I'm talking about. We were talking about what to do about Buckley. Oh no! I I actually do kind of have an, have an idea. Yeah. So what if we have like trap attached to a rope and we just uh -huh. trick Rowan into pulling it. Okay. So then Buckley dies in the trap. Right, that's good, that's good. Okay. I mean, obviously, we should try to avoid killing him, but like if it, we can't you know. Um, what's a little bit of murder? Just a bit. I mean, stick won't be scheming. Doesn't. Snowflake will neither be scheming either, but out of character, I can scheme all I want, right? Um, mm. Truly, it'll only really be S. Fan and Vivian being. We scheming. give him a poison apple. Then he eats it and dies. Well, I mean, that's it. That's we give it. We give it to Rowan, and Rowan gives it to Buckley. Yeah. We'll so, we'll tell Rowan to give this to who he thinks needs it the most. Uh, he gives it to his father. No, <laughs> no. See, that's how. That's immediately how back. Okay, okay. Bone snap would be fine, though. He yeah, would. bone snap would be fine. He'd probably just eat it and <laughs> not notice anything. I need it the most. Mm, yeah. mm, tastes funny. It's nothing. What are we feeding, Bone Snap? Uh, this is 
This is Buckley murder plotting part two. Part two. Um, oh no. <laughs> what's the new? Okay, we um. So we put a rake in front of his door, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, he steps on like the bristles, then he hits himself in the face. The stick. And that immediately Wait. kills him. He takes yeah. 26 bludgeoning damage and dies. He dies from embarrassment. He takes all we need 5 to, 10 uh, psychic uh, damage. It only needs to do like 12 damage, okay? <laughs> he doesn't have that much health. I mean, how are we going to get Rowan to do any of this? You're not. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> okay. We tell... <laughs> we tell Rowan to leave it there as a present for him. All uh, right. And we tell him to leave it like the bristles first, because then he'll see the best part first. Okay. Right? Hear me out. Yeah. We need to get modify memory. Okay. So we make Rowan do it. Okay. Right, so we and have then to wipe his memory. So we gaslight right. him. <gasps> yes. Magically gaslight. Modify so memory should just be called gaslight. Magically assisted gaslighting. Wall of Force is gatekeep. <laughs> What's girl boss? <laughs> Heroism. I guess. Okay. 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 I need to draw a diagram of some of my Buckley murder oh. ideas. Like a diagram. Yeah. Uh, diagram. Ah. Uh, 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 that's pretty good. Mario baby uh, noise. Uh, uh, noise. Do you, like you want to hear it? No. Not okay. Too, really. Your loss. <laughs> I feel like that's my game. Ah oh, hell no. Nah. I got no numpad on this laptop to do the no noises numpad. with. No numpad. None. I guess I don't deserve any. You don't. You lack numbers. No more number pad for you. Who needs numbers? Somebody asked. Numbers. I had a guy ask if he could get my digits, and I said, "Sorry, I don't have a numpad." Sorry, that was a bad joke. <laughs> it was bad enough that it was funny. Well, I'll take it. I am so tired. Oh. Me too. I think it's possible to, like... I don't remember what I was gonna say, never mind. Wait, wait. If you use modify memory uh -huh. to make Rowan forget that he needs to kill Buckley. Okay. We that's... then trick Rowan into killing Buckley on accident. All that could right. work. Then All we need is we re modify um, memory. Okay. Four levels. But we need to we need to ask specifics here if manslaughter is equivalent to murder in the this eye stock's mind. I mean okay. it is, but it's not him doing it voluntarily, so we modify a memory. Okay. And Oh, I know, we modify his memory to forget that he is a moral compass. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, then we just modify his memory after he's killed Buckley, that he didn't kill Buckley, one. And two, he has a moral compass now. Okay, so Probably. what level do you get modify uh, memory at? Uh, it's four more levels. Okay, so we just wait until we're ninth level. Um, who can cast it, though? So we never discuss what happens if Rowan doesn't do it, which he is not going to. Uh, I would imagine not <laughs> good. We'll, we'll we'll make a deal. We'll make a better deal, right? A better yeah, I mean... deal is all right. I kill the thing. That's the deal. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, that's the deal in uh, that's the deal in Vivian and Esfan's eyes. But you know, not not too down with that.
Speaking of deals, what's the deal with airplane food? Hmm. $3.99. Too expensive for peanuts. Too expensive. Yeah. Those donuts were pretty alright. Where'd you get donuts from? Were they powdered? Mama Crockett's. They were ap nice. apple cider donuts. Wow. Nice. My yeah, spider still hasn't eaten. Oh. oh. Hunger he's strike. On, yeah, he's on hunger strike. Poor baby. Wow. Hairy oh. baby. Very baby. He did bury his worm though. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. Me when I see a worm. I'm gonna bury that. Bury it. Worm. Worm. Worm Furby. Wow. <laughs> you wanna <laughs> see it? No. No, I don't wanna what? see it again. I know the one you're talking about. Wait, long no, you're furby. serious? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, good. Good. No, long furby oh, no, is no, 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 no. I'm serious about the worm furby and the long furby, oh, but they're two separate God. things. Are they? <laughs> they are now. Omar's back. <laughs> All right. Welcome back, Omar. So here's a question: Should we stay the I don't know what I <laughs> after investigating this guy, or should we uh, investigate him and then like take a sled? Yeah, take a sled or something. We also have a Mister Yeti child. Mister Yeti child. We'll figure that out. Yeah, we gotta yes. find somewhere for the Yeti child. The Yeti child is... It must. Emmy. <laughs> yeah. I saw the photo. Wait, wait. <laughs> what photo? What happened while we gone? Oh, nothing. We took a break. Yeah. Oh, oh God. What the fuck? Thanks. I hate it. Wait, where's oh. it at? Hold on. Oh, no, it. don't. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Hate is a oh, weak word boy. to describe. <laughs> what do you call that? It is a worm furby. Worm Bad. Is that even real? Yeah. I hate oh that my it, god. That makes it worse. Okay, so for chat, um, worm furby is not uh, the same as long furby. No, no, worm no. Fur worm furby is a furby made out of worms. Yes. <laughs> not cartoony looking worms, mind you. They're very real looking worms. I, okay, I, that's just long. You know, that's what I imagine that the, the nameless one looked like. A worm Furby? A long Furby. No, no, look at the new one. <laughs> that's that's the nameless one, Gamma. That's canon. Canon, canon, canon. This is why I couldn't describe it. <laughs> I hate the limbs. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> It's the nameless one. Oh. Oh. Okay. Should, are, are we good to get, get back in? Yes. I believe so. Yeah. Yes. We're one gangster until Thomas the Train start. So, um, where, where are we going now? Yeah, we can uh, investigate that guy. Who yelled at yeah. us should, before we leave? Should and we then find somewhere for, for Archie? Probably. Mm -hmm. I think Archie can probably stay with us for now until we leave. Yeah, I, I mean, when we leave, because if they're going to be more like bodies and stuff, it might be not good for him. No environment for a child, too, correct? Yes, a child. Do you have another word for it? No. I'm just pointing out that that is indeed a, a, a regular child. Well, then you are correct. Right. Thumbs up. <laughs> hmm. uh, well, uh, let's go find the, the guy. Right. 
We could we gotta distract him while we investigate him. Don't worry, I got this. I've never fished a day in my life. You know, you guys are telling your plans quite um up front. Well, what are I you gonna do? Tell on us? I mean no, but Yeah. Okay. Some more unsavory characters might. Well, we wouldn't discuss it in front of them. Mm hmm Something tells me you might. Maybe. Alright, well, um, if there's anything else I can do for you, um, let me know. Um, I hope to not see you in my shop. Uh, why? Um, because I make coffins. Is that... Oh, that was a joke. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, Dead person joke. Oh, oh, I... Not very many people get that joke. Don't worry, I got it. So I many... Dead people do you see around here? Like, uh, not usually many. I mean, uh, there's there's already not a lot of people in Bremen anyway, so the chances of a person dying are usually pretty low. Right. But never zero. There were those, there were those four lads though that went missing a little while ago. I guess they're, uh, but I might not ever see them. So what four lads? Ah, oh, there were some four lads that went out fishing not too long ago. They went missing. Uh, like fishing? Where exactly? Oh, ah, uh, out on the, uh, out on the lock. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, were they hired by anyone specific that we may or may not also be about to work for? So you know, it's just that's something we need to watch out for. Oh no, no, sorry, they're not. They're not from here, they're from a different town. Ah, got it. But I I serve all of the little small lakeside towns. Oh, I see. Well, I, I guess we'll get going. Yes, thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. Well, uh, you all uh, have a good investigation. Uh, thanks. Quinn is going to stay until everyone else walks out because he wants to ask a question. All right. Uh, can I help you, Mister? Some. You say you service all the towns around here. Um, yes. just the just the smaller ones. Uh, yes. Bryn Shander and East Haven have their own. Targos has their own. Have you serviced the name? Any traveling men unnamed? Not here, no. Um, although we, uh, all of the coffin makers in town do talk. Um, if I were you, I'd go, uh, I'd go check out East Haven. I heard some things about that. East Haven. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. He will follow. Out. All right. Um, and he will he will go back to his normal day. So uh, what's everyone up to back out on the street? Uh, Howie would wait a second when he notices that Quinn isn't following directly behind us. And uh, when he comes out, is everything okay? No. Oh, yes, just tripped on my rope, my coat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess we'll follow. Alright. Go fishing. Alright, so, um... Uh, you find the guy uh, that you were talking about. He is dragging a, um... He is dragging a boat, uh... Like, off of the snow and onto the ice. Uh... It's a little dinghy boat, uh, and it says on the uh, written on the side is the gunwale, uh, and it has got a giant bite taken out of it. <laughs> nice. Uh, and he is dragging it onto uh, he's dragging it onto the ice to pull it out to uh, water because, like I said, the shore uh, it's frozen for about the water's frozen for about forty feet before there's actually water. 
Uh, so he's trying to drag it out there, and he sees you all. Well, did you come back? No. <laughs> Went out here. Yeah. Uh, so yes. Taking my um, offer. No, we just remembered that we actually did, and all had collective amnesia. Yes. Oh, well. That's just wonderful. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh... Yes, we did. So you're taking me up on my offer for trout fishing? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Wonderful. Well, uh, remember, it's, uh, five copper a trout. So, uh, you, uh, you guys, uh... I guess some of you can get in the boat with me. Uh, there's two more over there that's mine. You can take one of it. You can take one of them. Uh... So, uh, I'm gonna get this thing dragged out onto the ice. Uh, we're, uh, yeah. we're wasting fishing time, so do be quick. Right, what happened, like, the, the bite in your boat? What happened there? Oh, this. It's just, add some character, you know? Character by what? Which makes the boat look good. It, it, was that it, done by something? No, it just makes the boat look cool. Uh, you can roll me inside if you wish. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what bit the damn boat? <laughs> yeah, my plus zero. Like, did he make? It? Did he just put this? <laughs> he put the bite in to make it look God, cool. Damn. God, like we're not a, like flames on a hot rod. We're not doing so hot. No, we're not. It's um, always one person has a good roll. Hot. So Monty. Uh, you you can tell he's lying. Hmm. Eh. I don't. Not sure we. But I don't care. We might have to have like one or two people stay behind with our um collective child that we have. This one. Hmm. That's just let. That's just less trout. But bring. He can get the trout. Bring him with him. The, bring him with us. The, the, right, no. So we don't no, that, think he can swim. We're we're he wasting can, trout he, fishing time. Which, uh, he's a wee babe. It's okay. We we'll just yeah, have like one I can, I person can stay, stay behind. I yes. Can stay with the little one then. Mm. Uh, a character who has high investigation. <laughs> yeah, who's good at investigating things. No. Uh, I, can have, I have a whole plus one. Howie no, has a I plus, have a plus five. five. Okay, Howie. You stay behind. Yeah. Uh, how is you? You're good at children. You you stay. <laughs> good <laughs> children. Uh, good at children. Uh, okay. Yes, Hello. and uh, you know, I don't know how to say this. Uh, I don't. In, I don't know how to say this in character subtly because we haven't really discussed this plan out loud. He, has, he is a like, clueless. <laughs> uh, uh, let me just it just come come here tell you okay. thing. No, just walk over. <laughs> Make it quick. We're wasting daylight. And right. Uh, we can. Just have to. to yeah, just tell him he doesn't really know how to do that yet. So we gotta instruct him. You know. I love how we adopted a child and formed a polycule all in one <laughs> session. <laughs> a polycule. <laughs> What the fuck is that? That's uh, a poly relationship. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll take I'll t I'll take Howie uh, a little bit away, just facing away. Okay, so when we leave and we're out of sight, you're going to investigate in his uh abode. You know, look for any uh notes that say "haha, I killed that person." Uh -huh, it's funny, something oh. like that. You know. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Can I take well, the baby well, well, with me? Yes, you you can. We'll we'll keep them distracted. I don't think any of us know how to fish. Okay. Uh, all right. Have fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> he was already doing that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Taking care of a child. <laughs> oh. Once they leave, Howie will head oh, over. Was... Actually, right. do we know where this house is? <laughs> Um, it's attached to his little fishing shack. Okay, then yeah, he'll go over. Okay. Um, so you guys, you guys start dragging your boats out. Uh, 
So who? So everyone except for um, for Archie and uh, Howie are going, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you guys uh, take off and you start rowing. Um, I start rowing. Rowing? Yeah. Rowing. I, oh, um, hey, hey guys. Um, I've never been trout fishing before. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I need. So who all is rowing out of the group? Is everyone rowing? Monty is rowing. Bam will row. Not that he's uh, ever been in the water. <laughs> Not that he's ever done it before, but he'll try. I'm weak. I'm strong. I have no excuse not to. All right. So uh, you guys get out into the water. You get a good little ways off. Uh, back on the shore. Uh, so Howie, um, you see someone sprinting towards you. Um, he freezes. Um, and they get right up beside you and they like grab onto one of the pier like posts and they're, they're like out of breath. <laughs> um, are, are you okay? Uh, oh, I couldn't make it. I'm sorry. Um, oh, it's the guy. Um, he, you didn't just like Grinch take them out there, did you? Um, yeah, why? Oh, the lake monster. The what? Oh, no. The this ain't great. This ain't looking good for us. Saying what? <laughs> it's fine. We have a doctor. We have a doctor with us. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. There's there's some sort of, the locals. They have a story about a about a lake monster. That I was trying to get biology notes on it. Oh, but also I don't want. Oh, he's gonna lead you all to your death. I swear. <laughs> um. Uh... How far out have they gotten at them by this point? Oh, they're they're far enough that they couldn't really hear you. Uh, so are they out on the ice still, or are they in the water at this point? They're on the water at this point. Oh boy, am I gonna do this? Just, just finish the job, we'll be fine, probably. Uh, Howie, is too, <laughs> Howie is too afraid at this point. Damn. Howie's gonna jump in, he's swimming. Um, oh boy. Where's the in baby, freezing Howie? water. Yeah, what about the baby? baby? Where's the baby? The baby. What are you doing with the baby? He's gonna set the oh baby on the God, shore. Oh like... Did you leave like it fine. alone? <laughs> watch, bro? Watch, 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 watch the baby. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Don't look at it, though. Uh, the next headline okay, is so you child on shore. Jump yeah, honestly. into the drink. Um... I need you to make me a con save. Uh, this is... This is... Bruh. I'm Bruh. thinking of freezing waters. Yeah, yeah, that's what the con save's for. Yeah. Can I, like, take... Can I take off my boots hey, and stick my toes nice, in the water? Sure. Nice. <laughs> um, so, uh, you... Okay, so you are able to stay in the water... Um, for a minute or two before you have to make the save again. All right. Of the water. So, uh, out uh, out on the boat, you guys are heading out towards. Uh, you guys are heading out, and the boats stop, uh, and the other guy casts his line. Would I uh, notice how he? Roll me, roll me like... perception. Yeah, we're like looking. Around it. Fuck. Uh, Can I roll? Like, if looking around the lake and stuff. Yeah, sure. Cool. Always knowing where we are. 18. Okay, yeah, so Quinlan would actually see Howie, like, jump into the water. Then... Um. Howie? Okay, but... What's up? Uh, you're Howie. way too... So you're way too far to actually, like, be able to hear each other. But, like... He... You can see him, like, swimming out towards you. He is in the water. Isn't the well? Where's well, the little... Something wrong. Um... Uh, you can also see there's a guy on the shore with the... With the, uh... The little, with Archie, and he's, like... He's, like, standing there... Like watching the kid and like making sure he doesn't fall in. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Maybe you just wanted to go for a swim. No, that doesn't make sense actually. I don't. I don't know. Ice bath. 
I've heard right. that's... Monty's just gonna leave, uh, Rod cast out just passively and start rowing slightly towards Monty. That's how he... Monty's rowing towards Monty, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, um... So you cast out your line. Um, roll me a roll me a d six. How many fish do you catch? Roll oh, correctly. <laughs> fishing mini game. Five. Oh, okay. I love so you fishing get, mini game. So in a little bit, you get uh, five fish. Nice. Um, so uh, while Howie's still coming out there, um, hmm. I'd like everyone, or actually not everyone, I'm sorry. I'd like someone to roll me a d20. Oh, God. Mm. Who's had the best luck tonight? Oh, not me. Uh, you know what? If no one else will, I'll do it. I can roll. And if something goes wrong, you guys have free reign to blame it on me. Okay, I like it when that happens. Oh, thanks. Okay. So, uh, the light, uh, so nothing really happens. You catch a few more fish, so roll me, a, roll me another d6. Okay. I'm scared, I'm afraid. You catch the sea monster. Um, as for Howie, uh, so you will get here in just a second, but I need one more con save. Alrighty. One. <laughs> nice, nice one fish. One fish? Oh, not great. <laughs> Putting a linen over it. You are doing okay. very good at this. Yeah, thanks. So, um, do you have resistance to the cold by any chance? Uh, unless my fur provides that, no. Okay, well, um, fun thing. Uh, you take a level of exhaustion. I imagine oh, as much. Oh, yeah. What, is, um, what does exhaustion one do again? Yeah, disadvantage just... on ability checks. Yeah, it's not too bad. So, um, you finally managed to get out to this boat of <laughs> by just swimming to it. Um, what in the world are you doing? Uh, yeah, what uh, are you doing who's, exactly? Whose boat do I, like I get it. out to? Um, I would say Monty was moving towards Howie. Yeah, so I guess you can get to Monty's boat. How we like squirt? Have you ever seen like a cat like falling down like a surface and like clawing at it to try and not? He's doing that to the boat and trying to climb uh, climb on the boat. Monty will <laughs> grab Howie's arm. Howie, uh, once he's in the boat, he starts he just starts hyperventilating. There's like monster out here. We get, we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. There's a lot. The... Howie. <laughs> the fisherman that is with you bursts into laughter. <laughs> what you actually you believe know? in that mess. There's like monster oh, that's probably with the boat. We need to go. There's, there's no such even... thing as a lake monster. So, is that I was a... wondering about that boat. Oh, that seems wonderful. The only thing in this lake that's a monster is the big trout. And the thing that bit your boat. I told you it was decoration. Yeah, that that mm, that, no. that doesn't really track. That's not Is he trying to trick us into getting eaten by the sea monster? Um, sure, roll me an insight. Oh, well, not, not, well, not, again, not my area of expertise. <laughs> um, let's see, with the 11, you can't really tell. Uh, with I'll the 8, you can't really tell. <laughs> I'll give it a go. Ooh. Uh, the 17. He so he's not necessarily trying to get you killed. He just doesn't believe in the in the <laughs> LOL legend. six. Uh, yeah, you can't really tell. Uh, Dayon can't really can tell I, either. Can I scan the water? Uh, yeah, sure. So you, um, Quinlan, like you could tell he just doesn't believe in it. Like he's not trying to get you killed. He just doesn't believe in it. Also, now that the adrenaline's worn off, Howie uh, just forward and starts sh shivering and trying to keep himself warm. Who, you gamble with who things is that person on understand. the shore? I, I, I don't know. He, he said that he was luring you to your deaths, and I got scared. I'm sorry. Is it that? Uh, is sorry? it Tally that said that? Is that? <laughs> uh, he pulls out a spyglass. And pulls it all out and looks on the shore. Ah, oh, that's Tally, all right. And he smacks it back close. 
They've been trying to ruin my fishing business for years. Oh, right. Because <laughs> they keep telling people, oh, there's a lake monster. Oh, be scared of the lake monster. And it drives away all my fishermen. I, I don't even know what they know. They're from down south. They aren't even from here. So, uh, you sure um, there's nothing to I, I be worried about? To I don't think there's anything to worry about, no. There have been no strange things happened in this lake. I mean, just as strange as anywhere else. Okay, describe the strange. I don't know, you see strange things on the water all the time. Uh, Pistachio, you said you were scanning the water, right? Yes. Roll me a perception. Oh, God. I hope oh, I'm pretty that I think it all. Oh, okay. <gasps> Whoa! <Ooh. laughs> okay, so, I gotta roll something real quick. Oh, God. Actually, wait, hold on. Elf I for a lake monster. <laughs> roll for a lake monster. What if we just roll for the light? You touched two lake monsters. His, tail vision. his what? <laughs> tail vision. Hail vision. Activate hail vision. Oh, true, true, true. So, something... So you you used your kale vision, and you do see this big dark mass under the water. Uh-oh. Uh, and it, like, it's coming kind of kind of high to the surface of the water, and then it goes away. Uh, and then... From the bottom of the boat, you feel the boat budge up. Uh, and you hear a board splinter in the bottom of the boat. Um, I need everyone... <laughs> I need Freaking everyone die. in the boat with Kale to make me a deck save. Who's in Thank which you. boat? I think... That is a I good would imagine, I, I would boat. imagine we're trying to do good weight distribution, because we have three yeah, very heavy characters and three light ones. So I would imagine... Kale... Uh, Kale. No, I'm, I'm statue oh, of Kale. I'm sorry, I just, I just, I just made out of Kale, man. What do you want from me? Uh, imagine Pistachio, Deon, and, uh, uh, fucking Quinn, maybe, are in a boat? Oh, and then, yeah. And then, uh, and, and, and then, and then, and then, and the other two <laughs> in the other boat. The oh. other two. Doc Monty and, and Howie. Took Wait. Right on how we, Monty's boat. Okay, but who's in the fisherman's boat? I guess that's us. Yeah, the smaller All right. one. Yeah, we're we're in that. So we need a what? Uh, a deck save. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll try. Oh no. This is fine. Oh, just we got a good one, big boys. Wave after you I have rolled it and didn't roll, so that's cool. I'll tell it to. Sorry, sorry. That that was a misclick. <laughs> I apologize. It Arcana. happens. Arcana. <laughs> Roll Arcana instead of X. Fuck. That sucks to be you, I guess. Oh, that, that really sucks, because, uh, you know, can't really swim and also freezing oh, cold water. None of you it's failed it by enough- none of you failed it by enough to fall out of the boat. Uh, okay. but, like, with that sudden jolt, you all get knocked prone in the boat. Uh, except for Quinlan. Quinlan is, manages to- uh, to steady himself, and he does not fall over. Are you sure I there's no, um, there's did no we, did we lake monster that, uh, from our boat? <laughs> Roll me perception as well. Um, as for um, as for pistachio, you see it like twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah, you would see it too. <laughs> so it that? like went under their boat and hit it, and then it started to swim away. But like, it's still kind of like you can see generally where it is. It's about forty feet away from you now. Now he gets into the armadillo position. I highly suggest we leave. Yeah, that uh, feels like a yeah, monster was... to me. Ha! Ah. Look, if you, if all of you are gonna just, what? I, I'm taking you back to shore. You can just all get out of here. Yeah, I'm not really in a mood to fall into a frozen lake. Thanks. Oh, to be I'm gonna whisper to, to armadillo and Howie. You oh, know, this, this, um, this. Fisherman is kind of dense. How he's in a and different blind. boat. But... Oh, how he's in a different. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought we were in the same boat. No, wait. Uh, you're you're Monty, Howie, and I think uh, Snicker. 
Mm-hmm. They're in one boat, yeah. and then okay. we're in the boat with the fishermen. And I'll, I'll just whisper to um, whoever's there. Uh, you say it's Dayon, is that is how you pronounce it? Dayon, yes. Yeah, I'm going to whisper to Dayon. You know, I think that was the thing. This fisherman is blind and dense. Yeah, really? I couldn't tell. Uh, uh, so he... Let's start oh, rowing. I was just going to say, let's... We gotta get out of here! <laughs> start uh, rowing. So he starts rowing all of you back. Um, and... Let's see. Me. Okay. So, you see, so about, let's see, who's in the lead boat? I'd imagine the fisherman's boat is in the lead. Yeah. Um, So, on the lead boat, um, you guys hear something over to your right break the water. Uh, Oh, Um, Looking over there, there is a, the head of, like, it, it looks like a giant water snake. Uh, and it comes Relatable. up and it looks at it looks at your boat and it's like moving with your boat but it's not attacking you uh so is that like a normal giant water snake or is that the like monster mr fisherman oh, I... oh heavens um we should probably get out of here how are oh, you? Yeah, really? No shit. How yeah, he really cool. From his his armadillo position, sees it and goes, oh, and he goes. Look at back that, Howie! It. Isn't it cool? He he gets even more armadillo. I I think it's quite nice. Oh, quickly your position changed. Um, actually, I need I need Pistachio to roll me a history check. Specifically, Pistachio. Oh Lord. Mm-hmm. All I feel like. Oh, <laughs> God, we're so not okay. good. Pistachio yeah. is weeks old. He doesn't know history. He's weeks old. Well, what is these fucking dice, man? Come on, roll better. Foundry. Uh, it just looks at you all, uh, and it like snorts and spits water onto the boat. Not happy about that. Is the water nice? Gross. Like, is, it, is is the water like absorbable by me? Um, it's it's cold. Okay. Well, if there were ever a t- if there were ever a time to die by freezing to death, I guess it would be now. All right. Um. So it um. It, like, goes back underwater and swims between the two boats. Like, it's still under the water. Nice. How close are we to shore at this point? Uh, you're about 40 feet from shore. Come on, get us out of the water. Uh, can, I, go. can I have minor illusion? Um, a, a third boat, actually, it's only five. How big are these, how long are these boats? <laughs> Soy boat. Um, <laughs> they're about 10 feet long. Yeah. Okay. Then we can't cast double cast. Uh, hey, wait, 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 wait! Better. You're a you're a sorcerer. You need twin spell. Wait, but that didn't work. Uh, wait, when do I get that though? Would that probably you? Wouldn't work. I mean, well, even then you don't have meta magic yet. Oh yeah, yeah. that's not like third level in it. Fuck. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Then I'll have a smaller, a five foot long boat behind us, like about actually the, the limit, thirty feet behind us. I'm gonna minor illusion a small boat. Yeah. Okay. So you do that, uh, and you minor illusion a small boat, uh, and it roll me a deception check. Please oh. roll well, please. A uh, it is deception. It is gonna roll an insight on that. How do you? Uh, uh, how well do you guys think this thing's insight yes. is? Thank okay. fuck, man. Okay. So. Not that. Not good enough. Let me. It gets a twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I'm hiding this roll, this roll so you can't tell what it is. But <laughs> oh my god, I'm so nervous. Okay, um, it seems to take the bait. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it swims to the other boat, and it 
it jumps above the water. Like, it leaps up to try to snap the boat in its jaws. Uh, and you all get a good look at it. Um, for those of you that like, you could roll me a nature check. Fucking, I'll try, is it, man. too scared to process this. 12. Man. Damn. You know what, why not? 10. Which one's the disadvantage? Is it shift? Uh, shift is advantage. Oh, set control. Wow, that was still really wow. good. Wow. Okay, so, uh... So Snicker would know what it is. Um, this is a plesiosaurus. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, dinosaurs! Oh, it's a um, dinosaur, okay. Yeah, this is a dinosaur. Um, and it jumps up and snaps this fake boat, and it slaps back in the water, and you hear... Um, when you... Uh, actually, with all your passives, you would hear... Um, oh. Oh. It said all? Yeah. Well, oh. oh, that's gonna be us. It's that's gonna be us in 30 fire. seconds. Um, um, so, Pistachio, oh. if you want to roll history again. Wait, uh, it like that verbally you know. said something? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm it's... so confused why. He just, just wanted to kill us. Oh, oh being... come on. We're being why so mean to him, bad? guys. <laughs> Did, did that thing just say something? I don't know. I think, it, I think it spoke. Should... Um, the so about this kind time, of you're thing. about ten feet from the shore, and he is rapidly trying to pull you all into the, like, dock. That's fine. Yes, the cult's sure. making me drowsy. I could be hallucinating right now. It's you or not. Howie is still, still curled up. Heard, I've not heard of shared hallucinations. <laughs> Please don't remember this. Presumably through hysteria. Hey, Marty just puts it. And this seems like a time skin. to be hysterical, if you ask me. Some of us thought at least. Please don't hurt us. Please don't hurt us. I'm sure it's fine. I'm gonna get ready to bail ship if it if it tries to um like go for my boat. Okay. Marty can't. Uh, will you guys pull out, like a blanket? And puts it on Howie. All right, so you guys get back to shore. You guys get back to the dock, and he, um, the fisherman like starts pulling his gear out of the boat as fast as he can. Uh, so you all make it back to shore. Once we're on shore, Howie, uh, Howie climbs out of the boat and scrambles away from the shore. Yeah. Victor's <laughs> uh, gonna quickly hop out of the boat and get on shore. You'll also, so, go, you'll also go straight for the grab baby. the baby. Oh, oh, Dan the pulls baby. himself out and starts drying off with the blanket he still has. So, so it'll be a little less cold. Um, everyone would notice it, like, right at the edge of the lake, um, like, the head pops up again, and it's just on top of the water, and it looks at you and snorts and, like, spits water. God damn it, it's just getting dry! <laughs> this motherfucker! Quinn, Quinnell, once they're on the shore, Quinnell kind of bent on just go. Hello there. Can we help you? Hmm? What? Oh. Ah. Um, what? Why did, why did you speak to me? Because you can speak to us. Hmm. Are you gonna so, eat us? So that's how conversation works. So that is a good mm. question. You're not in boat. I won't eat you if you're not in boat. So how do you just... eat things in boats, man? Roll me a per oh. Roll me a persuasion. <laughs> oh, which one of us? Um, Mako. Roll me a persuasion uh. because of that. I'll try. <laughs> Oh. No promises! Oh. Never mind, uh, promises. Promises. Uh, <laughs> you, you get one. Master, promises. master told me to. Who? Exactly? Who's that? Mm. Rabasin. Do we know that name? <laughs> uh, uh, you guys wouldn't... 
Uh, however, pistachio would. But we, I wouldn't what? Uh, you would know the name Robison. How? Is it? <laughs> Uh, is it, is this what was discussed previously? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think I know that name. Uh, do you know? You know, brother Sid. Well, I, I mean, I think. Wait, hold on. So let me message you to make sure I, I'm talking. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it that? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. They were the one that um. That woke me up. You know, like I was just a kale plant. They woke you too. Yeah, I mean, I like having legs and a body now. Hmm. Yes. Um. I like being smart. Did you get legs too? No. No legs. <laughs> yeah. I, am I feel that no quite, leg life. I am quite confused. I have legs. Who, who is this? This person? Rob. Robison is master. Anything else? Mm. Why is he ordering you to kill people on the lake? Funny. Robison. Uh, Robison <laughs> said, I must help Frost Maiden make people of Bremen suffer. So, why do the people of Bremen need to suffer? I don't know. Cool. I do. I do as I'm told. I don't want to be stupid again. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Okay, what if instead of using a bow, you take an umbrella and you flip it upside down and then use that instead? What? <laughs> <laughs> use that to float mm. on the water, it's not a boat. Okay, come on, guys. Full <laughs> roof plan to not get eaten. <laughs> Hmm. Mm. I might have to mm. a word in this mm. Robison. Yes. Pasashu, you said you know them. Yeah, I mean they they woke me up too. Okay, um, but like anything mm. else, where are they? Why did they wake you up? I don't really know. I didn't receive any orders like um Fish here. Um, yeah, I just got okay. legs, you know. This is just like okay, have sentience. I'm gonna peace out now. Is that what it is? Why are we standing around talking to a fish? Why are you talking to us? Yeah, go just away. You. <laughs> we all just verbally attack him at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I'm no, fine, I know when I'm not wanted, uh, and he walks off. Yes, you are truly not wanted, <laughs> and after, as I say that, I'm gonna cast Condemnation. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, no. What is that, dude? Oh <laughs> he needs to make a wisdom save. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... I'd be a horrible person 101. Oh, sorry. I accidentally rolled that privately. Let me roll it again publicly. Good. I was like... Oh, yeah. No, I'm not even... Waste. Damn it. Fine. <laughs> Worth a shot. <laughs> yeah. It's a cantrip. All right. Uh... <laughs> he just keeps walking. Once he's walked away, uh, how he'll go over... Today on, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I got scared. I didn't want you, you to get hurt. Uh, I'm sorry. I messed it up. Look, Howie, oh. 
It's fine. You, did you got good thing. I mean, if we were not informed, we really would have perished. Yes, it was heroic of you. I mean, I think very time. Took... Um, leave the baby to me, because I don't um abandon a baby. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think scary yeah. things are pretty cool, but like, you know, to each their own. Um, so you guys hear rapid footsteps approaching behind you. Um, and approaching is, um, the elven man who warned you, who first warned you about the lake monster. And in tow is, um, is, um, oh, shoot, um, name. Uh, Archibald. Archibald. Archie, Rock? yeah. Obama. Sorry, I, for some reason I was trying to say, um, I was trying to think Arnold, but, um, yeah, so he's got Archie in tow, um, this is, oh, it, it can talk? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. That is awesome! And he I know, right? He <laughs> starts scribbling in his book really, really fast. No way he picks up That's Archie kinda... and, and pulls him into a hug. I'm it sorry. does kind of ruin the mystery, though. Yes. Excuse me, um, uh, can, can I get some questions from you? No. Uh, right. And it, like, turns to look at him. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Alright. Uh, oh, um, okay. Uh, um, it should be noted, it's natural communication. So if he's they were woken magically. The fisherman go back to his house, or yeah, he like went back to we it. He started dragging his boat back to the shack. Rouch. I don't think I don't think he's the cause of anything related no. to us. I think he's just kind of he's just mean. Yeah. He's just kind of an asshole. Yeah, at that point, I leave him alone. Now oh, he's pulling that, that blanket a bit tighter around himself. He's shivering still. Dion just looks very tired. <laughs> oh wait, hang on. I don't feel uh, off too I can, good. I can help you, uh, Howie. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna use create bonfire. Like Wire him. Yeah. Um, fire under you. Light <laughs> problem <laughs> on the dock. <laughs> um. <laughs> You're you're on a dock over a frozen not, lake. Don't do that. <laughs> not a problem. I'm not saying you can't create a bonfire. I'm just saying if you do, you might not like the results. <laughs> okay, lake well, melt. Oh wait. No, wait no. Uh, why don't we go get um a what are they the dog sleds or whatever and uh. You know, uh, find those people, and also try and figure out who this guy that's just bringing things to sentiences, and ask him politely to stop with weapons if necessary. And, and we should find some place for Archie. That's well, true. Are you going to tell Robison that I didn't attack you? Uh, no. Nah. We don't know where he is, so no. What's his they, name, they... friend? Um, I don't have one. Would you like one? Um... They just call you like monster here. Hmm. Water snake. That is pretty scary. That is pretty scary. This is a very scary name. Cool name, though. I like it. Hmm. Lake monster. Like it right? I, I, I can relate like to this guy. Monster. So I, just, I, I, I just don't want to hurt people. Uh, just like, don't then. I'm afraid that if I don't do what Robinson says, that she'll come back and make me stupid. Okay, we'll cut you a deal. Just tell people not to go out on the lake. Then you, it's not your fault if you don't hurt anybody because no one's going out there. Got it? Um, side problem. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, hold on. Um, slight problem with that. Um, mm -hmm. most villages in Icewind Dale uh, subsist off of fish. Yeah. Subsist off of 
I was about to say subs I was about to say in characters sub I can't say that word, never mind. Subsist off of some bitches. But no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's in character. Wait. We so do we we do give the fish man a name? Just like, like monster. Lake monster. Like monster. He liked like monster. Uh, uh, so, uh I don't know. Lake monster. Something else. Are are you only supposed to attack people if they're in boats? Oh, well, Robinson, um only said boat. So then, if you don't want to hurt people and these people rely on fish, how about they um, do like a deal where they give you something and you give them fish? What if they use you as a boat? Um, that's not. That's not. Have to, you'd have to attack himself. So, and that wouldn't be great. I, would you? Um, would you be willing to lead us in the direction of Robinson? Um, I don't know where Robinson is. We'll find him. Sure. I I can't leave water. That makes sense. Fish tank, guys. We make a really big fish tank on wheels. If, <laughs> um, <laughs> Big brain moment. I'm, I'm afraid that if I don't do what Robinson says, she'll come make me stupid again. I don't think she will do that. I'm no, she would. You're not, not doing what she said. Yes, you could just simply, as Pistachio said, provide the people with fish, and then you it do not have to hurt anyone. A skill issue. <laughs> Literal <laughs> skill issue. That was out of character. <laughs> Sounds like a skill issue. Sounds like a skill issue to me. Uh, just, I don't know. Just get good. Why don't you? Why you just suck, bro? Yeah, it's, it's not your fault. We evaded you. We got skills. <laughs> yeah, we fucking rowing skills. Um. Oh, uh, that, that, that would be good, but are they going to hurt me? Uh, no, they won't, they won't. We will make sure they won't. Yeah, generally, if you don't hurt people, then they don't hurt you back, sometimes. Hmm. If you can make deal with the humans, then I'll do it. It sounds like a deal for me. I'd say we should go talk to the, uh... Fuck, what, what's the title again? It's not the mayor, it's the... The speaker. I'd say we go talk to the speaker, but, uh... You know. It's maybe the speaker's grandson. Right. Was it? Then we have to make sure our new fisherman friend doesn't do anything as well. Uh... You seem pretty scared of it, I'm sure you won't. He also seems, seems very like a stupid. harmless person. Well, if he gets eaten, that's his ignorant. problem. Sis, you have full permission to eat that fisherman man. Yes. It would be funny. Sounds like skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I cannot advocate for his death. No. We're not advocating for his death. It's just if he does that, then yeah. that's his problem. We are simply advocating against his <laughs> widening the skill gap <laughs> against his, his life. <laughs> it's, life. It's, not the, it's not the same thing, guys. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. No, 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 no it's not. <laughs> You're Advocate wrong. Death implies that we had something to Take do with his friend. death. No, 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 I can't hear you. <laughs> Why don't you... Uh, Advocating uh, against his discontinuation just simply means we are not going to save him when his stupidity gets the best of him, yes. Yes, that is a good way of phrasing it. I, I don't feel very well. I always gonna lie down in the snow. Well, oh, yeah. you did jump into a frozen lake, so... Maybe. I'm sorry, more... Lion Man. Yeah. 
Maybe we should rest for the rest of the evening. Yeah. We can help Howie. The, the murderer can wait. I'm sure he'll still be killing people when we get there. I don't know. Um. Uh. Rest. Wait, where? I'm sure know. we can find somewhere. In. Oh. An inn. Well, there's actually an an inn in town. Um. <laughs> the uh, the inn in. Uh, there's an inn in in in. It's the uh. It's it's the buried treasure. Inning. In the Beninian. <laughs> the very treasure in. Is how how far is it? Do you have directions? Oh well, it's just up the road. I can take you there. Oh. That would be lovely. You know, the names of this town are very on the nose. Like the last nail. Funny, yeah, man. Well, um, yeah, I, I can lead you there if you wish. Yes, please. Please. All right. Uh, so he takes you all there, uh, and the the lake monster uh lowers its head down, and before it goes, bye. Goodbye, lake monster. Have fun bye. with your life. And Quinn will help Howie up the best he can. <laughs> you can physically, can, feel, you can physically can feel how he's no. shivering. Like it, it's it's <laughs> shaking you a little. Okay, seeing Quinn not <laughs> town will help him. Uh, thank you. He's trying. Uh, tried his tried his sister best. Unfortunately, it was not good enough. Has nothing against the line. <laughs> thank you. I, I, I'm... Again, I'm really sorry. It's mm. fine. I don't think he was, like, evil anyway. It just, uh, sucks. He just sucks. Let, I'll, I'll yeah, just say that. He sucks. Yeah. Yes. We do not always have control over our emotions. It is understandable. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll follow this guy. Alright. So, um... On the way over, uh, this uh, elven, ma uh, elven man uh, is walking over there. So, um, I'm Tally. It's wonderful to meet you all. Um, I'm, a, uh, I'm a biologist from the, uh, from the uh, Blackstaff Academy in Waterdeep. Oh. Hmm. Uh, that's... Not familiar with Waterdeep. That's where I'm from. Really? You're from Waterdeep? Yeah. What district? Uh, what's the noble district? Uh, that was the... Oh, shoot. I think it was, I think it was called the Castle District. Um, um, the Castle District. Oh, you're from the fancy side of town. I was just from the... Uh, I was from the... Um, the war... Or the... Oh, shoot. What's it called? Um, I was from the Waterfront District. Oh, okay. Well, um, I'm a I'm a biologist. I've been sent up here to uh, study, you know, the effects of uh, prolonged cold, uh, prolonged exposure to the cold on flora and fauna. Um, also, I was looking at your friend here. Um, you know, you have a interesting specimen on your hands. Um, I know, right? I'm a I'm a kale plant. Yes. Um, he looks. He looks rather content with you all. Um, you do know that his diet, um, he, need, he needs about, give or take 2,000 calories a day, normally of red meat. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say very much lean, um, lean meat. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're, you're talking about the Yeti, okay. Yeah, um, and so he just starts Boy. going on this big long-winded tangent about, like, the dietary needs of a Yeti talk. How will write it down in a notebook? Oh. He pulls his notebook we... out. Um, and he tells really you... So he tells you way more about about a yeti than you were really wanting to know. Monty is listening, but he's kind of like taking in the information that will actually be relevant. Yeah. So, so he, like 5% of it, I imagine. 
Yeah. So he gets you to the door of the inn, and that is precisely why. Ye- that's precisely why Yetis are able to evade hunters because they have such good hearing. They can, they can hear a pin drop for miles. Right. Dan Dan lowers himself, you know, as next to you down to Quinsight. We really need to get a better disguise for a uh, for for a little friend here. If he was able to, you know, figure that out. That or we just need to stop leaving him with strangers. I like the idea of not leaving him with strangers, but uh, but yes, yes, the disguise thing too. What if we just like put a mask? You know, <laughs> what kind of mask? Uh, group. Oh, <laughs> uh... <laughs> just doesn't respond and goes back to his normal height. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we don't have too much longer, so. I know this yeah, I gotta person out. would definitely be able and capable of taking care of this Yeti. After, after having listened to his informative rant. Yes, yes, he would. More rant than informative, but in any way, I believe. Mm-hmm. We should leave Archie with him. Uh, it would be a smart play. We, yeah, probably. We can't have him moving around. Dang. Do you think he'd be safe? Here, I mean. Uh, mm. They um, seem the people here seem a little more worried about the lake monster, so I'm sure it's fine. Um, uh, uh, Tally, was it? Yes. Yes. Do you think you could take care of him for us while we're away? Oh! Um... Well, you um... study him! Or whatever it is you do. Take care mm. of him. He's... He is not a specimen, he is our little one. Please don't hurt him. Yes, he's our collective child. I'm not really sure I could feed him, but I, I could give it a shot. Um... You know, Yetis do, like I said, they need about 2,000 calories a day. I can only uh, about about 11. Primarily red Already meat. tooting this out. <laughs> you seem more than capable of taking care. Uh, are, are you sure? No, yeah, probably. you are the best option he, we have. I mean, yeah, probably he, better than you us. Are, he is very up. bonded to you. You see, Yetis, when they... When they're quite young, they, they uh, tend to imprint on a single person, uh, and that is a... We're gonna... We'll be back. We're, we'll, we'll be back. Yeah, we we'll just have a job to do. We just don't we're want to put them in danger. Well, um... Our work I, is going to be much too dangerous for a yeti of this size and age. Oh, well, um... And he squats yeti, down to the yeti side. He is without its parents, I believe. Hmm. It cannot be helped. It's rather unfortunate. I know how that feels. Well, um... You are responsible hmm. and informative about Yetis. And I believe it will come to love you as much as it has loved us. Well, uh, he, like, goes down to the heart of the Yeti. Well, my little Deanthropoidus Nellis, uh, will um, you, uh, uh yes, he did, just call it, he did just call it by its scientific name. Yeah, he did just do that, didn't he? Yeah, uh, this, this motherfucker. Um, would, you, would you like to stay with me? Uh, and it, like, looks at him kind of weird. Yeah, he was a I'll, take, guy. I'll take that look you, as a yes. Tally, his um, name is Archibald. Oh, it's oh Archie. Archibald. Yes, uh, but the, easier than that's saying going to go up. You know. Oh, sorry, no, no, that, that was basically it. Okay. Um, Pistachio is going to go up to Tally. Wait, ta- T-A or T-E? Tally or Tally? Tally, T-A. Okay, Tally. And he's going to he's gonna do another interpretive dance for Archie and then and then use Matter Illusion on, on Tally and make him seem like a larger <laughs> Yeti. <laughs> Um, um, yeah, uh, it looks at it looks at him and then looks at you, and then it looks back. Not biting the shit. 
But yeah, if if you can take good care of him, I I could even pay you. Um, well, um, I think the research will be enough payment. Oh. Um, I've got a small um cabin uh just outside of town. Uh, you're more than welcome to stop by anytime you like. Oh, okay, uh, thank you. There are I'm... a few. Uh, you can find me. There are a few pine trees out front. There are particularly four of them that are quite tall. Uh, Pine trees are quite uncommon in this area, you know. Mm. Are they amazing. now? I'm gonna pine your tree. What? I'm not <laughs> quite sure what that means. I don't know either. Does it sound like that, a threat? Is that like a sex thing? Yeah, or is that like a threat? Many things can go both ways. It's either I guess. Sexual or a threat. It could be both if you're into that kind of thing. Well, which one was it? Both. Hmm. Like, See, I will be. I believe I will be taking my leave with the Yeti. Have fun. Bye, Archie. Take care. Good play, Archie. Play. I, I promise I will take care of this little one. Okay. Don't he get... more so he takes him by the little Yeti hand and leads him off. Now, would you like to know? Would you like to hear about the? Would you like to hear about the local flora and fauna? Once he's I take, gone, I know enough. <laughs> wow, that guy talks a lot. It, yeah, I wrote all of this. He holds his his notebook up, and it's like maybe five pages long. How? He's writing incredibly quickly. Yes, I tuned him out after five seconds. I had to learn to write quickly when I was at Ravenstaff. Ravenstaff. Okay. Yeah. Don't know what that is. It's an academy. That's oh, all you are, a smart one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, um, I so you are a rich one. I didn't it's graduate. Educated. I, I didn't graduate. Well, that is all right. You're here now. I didn't graduate mm. either because I didn't go. Neither did I. What? Uh. Academy. Smart people place. Uh, I graduated from a medical school. Was that fun? Yes. So really? I was expecting you to oh, well, say no, or at least say yes well, sarcastically. Well, it wasn't cheap, so I had to join the guard. Right. For a time. Paid off. Oh. That's it. I think I should lie down. See, yes, let's let's get you to bed. You don't look too well. Uh, so you guys go in the inn, uh, and it is a... It's not a big place, but it's got enough room for all of you. Um, and you are met by this lady. Uh, she comes and rolls out a little red carpet for you all. Welcome to the buried treasure! <laughs> <laughs> she does they don't, they don't get a lot of people. I can already tell. Uh, <laughs> Dayon just moves around it. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, Monty's kind of confused, so he might just be on the carpet. Oh, oh we will do the same. <laughs> uh, I picture how he is dripping wet. So yeah. <laughs> Wait, you picture him as Drip? Drip? drip. He's Drip. Drip Howie? Wait. Drip Howie. I'm, I'm sorry, was that rude okay. of me? Ow. No, 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 yeah. of course not. No, you you are the honored guests here at the Buried Treasure. Insight when she said, oh no, you're not... Fuck. <laughs> you don't get to know. Oh, well, I don't get to know. Did the same thing. Okay, <laughs> um... You sense that she, uh, you sense that she doesn't really think it was rude. She, you get this vibe that, like, her whole goal here is to make you feel like kings and queens Mm. and royalty. Um, Hey, do you get a lot of business, just by chance? Well, sometimes. Mm, yeah. Um, we, we'd like to stay... 
supposedly night. Just... Of, co- of course, of course. Um, how many rooms do you need? Uh, um, six. Three. <laughs> we can oh, those were, those were different answers. <laughs> Please. Oh, well, that booked well, a How many rooms do sure. you have? Um, so I have well, six. So wow. I want to take all of them in case you have other guests, though. Okay, look, if we're oh, doing... Oh, no, no, please, don't, don't worry about it. I'll, we'll, if there's more guests, we'll, we'll make accommodations. Uh-huh. Also, I am so, so sorry that it is so dirty in here. It is, it's not dirty in here. Um, I am so sorry it's so dirty in here. I, my, I have, my son hasn't cleaned in a while. Well, no, it looks lovely in here. No, I have nothing to worry about. Uh, uh, mm, uh, it's it, it's less than perfect. Um, I, I think it looks uh, like that's very right. My, I haven't got my son to be able to clean. He hasn't been here in a while, and I'm sorry. But, what a yeah. very awkward woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you say that out loud? Oh, yeah. I am, I am so sorry. Here, I'll, I'll get you a discount on your room for that. As no, no, it. No. Oh, okay. Sure. Mm, this is gonna be fun. No, um, uh, he, how much is a room? Uh, well, um, a silver. He, oh, here, yeah. he'll, he'll give six gold pieces, overpaying cool. for everybody's room. Oh, here, let me get you some change. No, you, you can keep it. Are you, are you sure? A tip for your excellent service. Yes. Lady literally just got like six weeks pay for a commoner. She She fucking deserves it. She She like she kind of tears up and she thank thank you so I've been having a lot of trouble making my ends meet especially after especially after my son went missing. Thank you so much. Uh, Your son went missing. (laughs) Yeah, can we talk about that like a little bit? Um, Was your son? Part of the group of four that went missing. No, no, um, no, my, our, um, our town speaker, uh, Mr., uh, Mr. Scaleshar, he, um, sometimes he goes and, you know, wanders. He, he's a little, uh, his memory's failing him. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he gets a little, he gets a little, um, forgetful and he'll go wander the, um, he'll go wander the lake side and he'll go wander the rivers. And then we have to put together search teams to go find him. Um, my son was on the last search team, and he he came back, but he came back with this weird... Um, sh- it was this, like, crystal necklace. Uh, it was in the shape of this sword. Um, he came back, and he just started acting really strange. And he, he didn't want to talk to me anymore, and then... The next few days, this um, this tiefling man and woman showed up, and they took him, and he went with them. A lot of people go missing around here, don't they? Mm. Mm. I think I think they took him to Care Dineval, or something like that. Oh. He said no. he wasn't coming back. Huh. Those. So, oh. Yeah, Monty just Dineval. looks down. No Care idea where that is. I know where that is. Oh, what's it like? Uh, not... It is respectable. Here, I got the... It's got a services. Thank you. Mm, nah. I can't spell for shit. Is it... Okay, I... I, hate to, I hate to dip out early, but I gotta be up early. Okay, well, we only got a few minutes left, yeah. so... So I'm gonna dip. All right. See ya. Thank See you, Damien. Bye. So this Cardinal bad place? Well, oh, no, there are good place. people there. No, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a bad place. It's not Terragos. I said Terragos inquisitively because I. Oh, uh, uh Targos. Targos. It is not Targos. It is a respectable, small community. Right. Our speaker is a 
speaker is, as he would say, an asshole. <laughs> but other than that, it's all fine. So why would they want... People oh, also, something you would know about the care. Uh, the speaker, as of lately, uh, since you lived there, you would know the speaker, as of lately, hasn't been seen. Like, he hasn't came out of yeah. his castle in, like, a couple weeks. Well, there's all sorts of people everywhere. They don't represent the people of the care. Um, miss, you said you, you were struggling with this help he's gonna hand over 20 more oh, God damn. I, I can't it's loaded <laughs> I, where, where are you getting all this damn money from I, I, I can't accept all this if it would help you um are, are, well, you, are you sure this, this is a lot I, oh you've been so nice to us Uh, she <laughs> she starts to tear up. Listen, Thank you so much. We're Thank you so much for two playing my game. Are, we're already investigating a murder. We'll get your son, while we're at it. Yeah, if we're in the area, we'll, I don't know, do something. Thank, Thank you nice so much. Thank you. You care to the balls again. You are... You're more than welcome to stay here anytime. Just, whenever you need a room, please, just let me know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your hospitality. Yes. Yes. I, I should be thanking you. I, could, I can't get anyone to do anything. You're the first people who's even offered. Have you not really? taken it up with any authority? Um, what's the nice way to say this? The only authority here in Bremen is a senile old man. Yeah. No. That certainly seems to lend itself to problems. Have you ever considered electing a new one? I don't know how it works. Well, yes, but it, we really... I... I think the rest of the town is kind of just letting uh, Speaker Scrim uh, uh, Shale Scar just ride out the rest of his term. Uh huh. It's, uh, we're not all really sure he has much longer, anyway. Right. You would be surprised at how much damage someone can do in such a short time. If action needs to be taken, I recommend you take it quickly. Um, well, um, we should probably call the vote on that sometime. Yeah. Look, we're not politicians, are we? I don't know. I'm not. I'm it's not. not. No. Okay. Group, consens group consensus, not politicians. We're not politicians. We're uh, investigators. It's like being a detective, but slightly different. <laughs> 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 And I'm a no, plant. I'm a plant. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate you all so much. Um, would you like a towel, um, sir? You're talking to Howie. Yeah. Uh, yes, please. Let me go. I keep some in a pot over there, um, by the uh, by the fire. Let me get you one. Uh, and she towel. comes back with a warm towel. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, if you need more, they're right over there. He'll dry himself off as much as he can. He doesn't Wet if you have a kitchen that I could cook maybe a warm meal. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, I'm, I'd be more than happy to cook you something. So, it would be a pleasure to assist you at least. Wow, Quinn, you're a chef. Oh. No. Oh, cap. But I I've, don't uh, deny that it gives me some peace. Hmm. I've uh, never had anyone offer to help me any, uh, before. Yeah, sure. Good. Chef background. 
<laughs> yeah. Sure. No. Chef background. Chef feet. Chef feet. Chef feet. I have the fondue spill. <laughs> oh, I do have chef feet on Salma. That's a big regret. To go yeah? With, I have the fondue spell to go with my condemnation. Salma would have fit very well in, in Britain. Literally, his whole thing is fishing. Encounter Salma somewhere in the corner. <laughs> and we're like, hey, wait a minute, port. He just like, skitters it away into the... It me you. all along. I did all the bad things. It's been Sama all along. Sama was the one who brought Kale to life. Kale? Well, his name's Pistachio. I will <laughs> never, uh, I will I never stop. Like I'm, I'm telling you now, this is going to be the entire campaign. Alright, so take a shot every time Bye. Pistachio gets called Kale, and take a shot every time Snowflake gets called Lefty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've passed the lefty, uh, I've passed the, the misnaming onto you. It is your torch to bear now. Shit. <laughs> Until Friday, and then I okay. gotta get it again. We well, have joint custody over the- We, we have a character in, in that campaign named Kale. <laughs> um, in this campaign, we have a we have... player character who's made out of Kale. <laughs> <Yeah. Hello. laughs> Yeah, we really have some. We really have. We we have. We have. Yes. We, we, we have. have. Miko, Miko, I'm, I'm gonna start calling Dayon rocks. <laughs> rocks. <laughs> because you know, calling back to um snowflake. Good old rocks. 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 Yeah, that's snowflake's nickname, all right. Rocks. Rocks, rocks with an X. Yeah, make it more. <laughs> yeah. I I should really lay down. Yeah, here I'll I'll show you to your room. Uh, come with me. Come with me. I'll we'll follow. Uh, and she like goes and gets you a pair of slippers. Uh, do they fit? In? Um. Uh, she probably has some big enough to fit you. Yeah. If those are some big slippers. How there is, are a lot of how his feet are. Big. There are a lot of Goliaths in Aswind Dale, so she prepared. They need to be a Goliath and a half. Joe Liath. Joe Biden Goliath. Um, uh, thank you. Let's say to Joe Byron right now. Uh, you're you're welcome. Let me uh, here. I'll go light the fire in your room. Um, no, uh, no thanks. All right. It will. Uh, here, let me get you up there, and she takes you off to your room. A follow. Uh, so the rooms here aren't the nicest. Like they aren't they aren't like five star hotel rooms, but they are they're your own private room with your own bed, and How you have a big fireplace. Are the beds? Uh, they're like I'd say they're like queen sized. Hmm. It'll do. <laughs> Um, it's slightly drafty in here, but they're not, like, they're not, you're, you, most of the cold is getting off of you, but, like, so, some areas, the rooms are a little drafty. Howie doesn't mind so long as the fire doesn't have to be lit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, if you need any more blankets or anything, please, uh, just call down to the desk. Um, thank you. You're more than welcome. Uh, and she goes out and gives you a bow on the way out and closes the door. Uh, Howie's going to lie down in bed, and when he does so, there's going to be some something new that happens. Snoring. Uh, as you're, you're aware of, the, of this this other presence, but uh, <laughs> yeah, here we go. Yeah. Howard, here we go. That was risky what you did. We could have lost this vessel. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Be more thoughtful, Albert. Ah, oh, shit, he used his full name. <laughs> He's in trouble. Oh? You in trouble. 
Mm, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna sleep. Howard. Howard. He's gonna take a look over the rug, red carpet. Mm hmm. Just start like I guess cleaning it. Oh, right, uh, any, like wet stains. Uh, there's just a few like wet footprints on it. And she comes over. Uh, oh, I, I can I'm, I can get it. You don't have to. Hmm. Uh. No. I find it calming. Oh well. Um. All right. Um. Today's been very interesting. Oh well. Um. If it if it calms you, I'll I'll let you have it. Um. It is my honor. To help you anyway oh, well can. thank you uh, she seems like she doesn't really know what to do <laughs> that she can't like that she can't like treat you all is there a fire down here yeah there's like one big central hearth yes the little goat shell over there and warm up it gets a little more awake all right when it's already in the kitchen cooking all right. Uh, anyone else doing anything? Uh, I guess Monty after that goes to bed. All right. In his room. What's Pistachio up to? Um, I think Pistachio. I'm gonna make this cannon every day. Every day, Pistachio sheds all his kale and grows back. Kale <laughs> on the floor. Oh, no, he's gonna go... <laughs> yeah. Don't he's gonna ask him where the salad came from. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, very bad. Um, <laughs> he's gonna go find some nice a patch, patch of dirt in a clear area outside. Take off his boots. Like, stick his feet in. And then, you know, you know when you, like, when you bear yourself up to the knee um, at the beach and you just, like, lay down and you can, like, resurrect yourself? You know what? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. morning people yeah. rise. <laughs> yeah. Exactly that. So, like, he, he buries himself up to the knee and then, like, lays down, and then that's his thing. <laughs> and his hair, I mean, his kale falls off, not his hair. That's <laughs> oh, hair All to right. him. Yeah. Uh, Alright, well, uh, unless anyone else has anything to do, I believe that is where we shall end oh, the first session of Icewindale. Real, real quick, uh, whose room is next to mine? That is a good question. Um, yeah. any, Roll. anybody, anybody biting the I'll proverbial her. bullet? Uh, you would hear, uh, at some point you'd hear a, like, yelp in the middle of the night. And then it's just quiet and you hear shuffling. And it's quiet again. How does Howie snore? In what fashion? <laughs> what pattern? Uh, I would say, uh, he's not the Mimi Mimi snore. It's just kind Damn, of a... Yeah. My favorite kind. <laughs> Darn. Also, Rip Quarty. Oh, Nightbot, no. No, on Nightbot. Did Quarty get Nightbotted? Yeah, Quarty got Nightbotted. No. Uh, his, his snore is, is more of a... Yeah. That would make sense snore. that Quinn would hear that, because Quinn doesn't sleep much at night. Also, Quinn has big ears. <laughs> Quinn has Quinn does have big ears. That's true. But yeah, she, you, something is awry. Cool. We'll talk about it in the morning. Don't got eyelids, so you'll never know if I'm asleep or not. <laughs> That's <is> a <laughs> that terrifying is terrifying. Terrifying. <laughs> I mean, you'll probably be able to tell because it'll be like still for several hours, but you don't know. You'll never know if sleep snake, snake sleep. Well, guys, we didn't get, in, get into any combat. Yeah, we fucking yeah, combat avoiding fiends. Yeah, chat. We are gonna get out of here. Yeah. Oh well, God, uh, thank you all for coming out. out here. Uh, we will be back on the same time next Monday. Uh, remember, keep a jacket and stay frosty. And we'll be yeah, back yeah. Friday for cr more Crowls. That's true. Crowls Crucible. Indeed. Crowls. Take care, chat. Farewell yeah. and goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, Bazaar. Oh.
Thank you.